lie. It is nothing but evil. Those who look to rejoice in their youth deceive themselves and those around them, accepting in full the circumstances that devour them. In the face of the great and reverend word youth, they will twist any common interpretation or accepted notion out of recognition. In their minds, lies, secrets, sins, and even failure are nothing more than the spice of youth. If failure is truly the designated mark of one's youth, hey, is that you? Then would it not be considered abnormal for one not in his youth to still head fail head at befriending anyone? Let's go. But I'm sure none of them would admit oh, to that being true. They only define youth to their own benefit. In conclusion, I leave you with this. All you fools who delight in youth, drop dead. The one who needs to drop dead. Look, Hikigaya, can you tell me what the assignment was I gave you in class? Well, you wanted us to write an essay about looking back on our high school days. And how exactly did that lead you to turn in this smart-ass essay to me? What is this? How did that theme result in this? Wow. Seriously. Look at you. You have eyes like a dead fish. Do I look that rich in omega-3s? It makes me sound pretty smart. I'm being serious. Yeah. But I am looking back on my high school days, just like you said. Isn't that how we kids think? I mean, at least nowadays. You brat. Just cut the crap, okay? You just call me brat? Well, I guess I can understand how someone your age would think that I'm a- <laughs> Anyone ever teach you that you never talk about a woman's age? Uh, I'm sorry about that. I'll rewrite. <laughs> I think you had better come with me. Hello, Miss Hradska. I believe I asked for you to knock before entering? Even when I do bother to knock, you never deign to answer. That's because you always come in before I have a chance to respond. And this? Who's the space case? <laughs> oh, crap. I know who this girl is. International Liberal Arts, Class J. The class is 90% girls since they score higher than average, and most know it to be a very colorful class. And the one with the most color of the lot? Yukino Yukinoshida. Everyone at this school knows her. He wants to join your club. Uh, Hachiman Hikigaya, class 2F. So, um, what do you mean I want to join? Suck it up. I am making you join this club as punishment for your smart-ass essay. You will give me no arguments, protests, questions, or back talk. So then, I'm sure you can see by now, his personality is as rotten as the look in his eyes. <sighs> this makes him a pathetic soul who is perpetually lonely. I want this club to fix his contrary, solitary nature. That's my request. I must decline. Just looking at the ulterior motives behind that lewd gaze of his makes me fear for my life. I'm not looking at those modest breasts of hers. Seriously, I'm not. Don't worry. He's a decent guy with a good grasp on risk and return, and he's a need for self-preservation. He wouldn't dare do anything worthy of criminal punishment. Trust me, this thug attitude is an act. I'd rather you just say that I can make rational decisions for myself. Thug attitude? But of course... She's not even listening. She's convinced. Well, if it's your request, then I can't very well refuse, now can I? I'll allow him to join. <laughs> Perfect. Good luck, Yuki Noshida. What? Sweet memory suddenly came back to me. Can we just stay friends for now? Forget being friends. After that, we never spoke again. I mean, seriously, romantic comedies don't actually happen in my life. Someone as rigorously trained as me would never get caught in a rom com trap like this. Girls only take interest in attractive guys and indulge in impure relationships. 
In other words, they're my enemies. Do you mind if we just stay friends for now? Being hated is the fastest way for me to avoid feeling like that again. So in lieu of pleasantries, I decided to intimidate you, Kinoshida. Quit standing there and just sit down. Huh? Uh, right. Sorry. Problem? Uh, it's just... I'm pretty confused about all this. What kind of club is this supposed to be? Try and give it a guess. Literary club? Oh? Why you say that? Well, that's easy. This room has no particular backdrop and no special equipment. Plus, you've been reading a book this whole time. You're wrong. Then what type of club is it? So, what I'm doing here right now is this club's exact activity. <sighs> then I give up. I have no clue. Hikigaya, how long has it been since you spoke with a girl? <clears throat> I believe it was two years ago, in June. God, it's so hot today, right? More like humid, I would say. Huh? huh? Well, yeah. A compassionate few donate their time to those who are less fortunate. Society calls it volunteer work. We extend a helping hand to those in need. That is what this club does. This is the service club. I welcome you. And as I have been asked, I will fulfill my duty. I will come to fix that little problem of yours. Show some gratitude. Are you serious? My problem? So you know, I'm damn efficient in my own special way. I was third on the Japanese ability tests, and I'm pretty good looking. Ignoring that I have no friends or girlfriend, I'm in a pretty high league. In a way, it's impressive you can say all that so confidently. You're weird. I'm already creeped out. Shut up. You're the weirdo. Based on my observations so far, it seems the loneliness that plagues you is simply a direct result of your stupid pride and contrary sensitivity. As for your appearance, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. In other words, as of right now, only what I say is correct. Your opinion's ridiculous. It feels like you're making some sense. Now, that completes this conversation simulation test. What? If you can actually converse with a beautiful girl like me, then I believe you will be able to talk with most anyone else. So, do you think I've fixed you a bit? Just so you know, it's not like I can't talk to people or anything. I just don't make pointless small talk, so you see, I don't need to be fixed. Well, I believe you're at a level that will make living in society difficult for you. I'm coming in, Yukinoshida. I said knock. Yeah, sorry. Sounds like you're having some trouble rectifying our little friend here, huh? It's because he isn't aware he has a problem. No, it's not. What in the hell? Why is everyone always telling me to change? I don't want other people trying to tell me who to be. That's how you run from your problems, isn't it? Well, changing is a way of running from your problems, too, isn't it? Why can't you just accept someone for who they are and what's in their past? That won't... Because that's not going to solve anyone's worries. Nor will it save anyone. Mm -hmm. Just relax, you guys. <clears throat> you might not know, but it's a time-honored shonen manga custom to try and settle conflicting opinions with a showdown. What are you even talking about? I want there to be a showdown, to see which one of you can do the most acts of service. You're way too intense. Well then, how about we let the winner make the loser do anything they want? By anything? Does she mean what I think she means by anything? I must decline. Doing so with him as my opponent would make me fear for my life. That's sexist. Sexy stuff is not the only thing guys like me think about. We also think about world peace. Actually, I don't think about much else. I guess even Yuki Noshida has her fears. I never thought I would say this, but are you afraid that you'll lose? Fine then. I cannot believe I'm falling for such cheap provocation, but I will accept. Then that's that. <laughs> Don't I get a say in this? Hello again. I didn't think you'd come back. Are you a masochist then? No. A stalker then? Why are you assuming that I'm harboring some sort of illicit feelings for you? So you don't? No. Your overconfidence is weird, even to me. Let me guess, you don't have any friends. 
Well then, first, why don't you explain to me where the definition of friend begins and where it Please ends? Please, say no more. That's exactly something someone would say with no friends. Because I'd say that. You seem like a likable girl. So then how can you have no friends? What's your problem? Yeah, there's no way you could understand. I've always been considered really pretty. Yeah. So any guy who's gotten close to me has done so with ulterior motives. How can people like you say you're lonely? You're a disgrace to lonely people everywhere. If everyone actually had liked me, perhaps then I would have been all right. What's that supposed to mean? In grade school, my indoor shoes were taken and hidden from me about 60 times. 50 of those times were done by other girls. And it was all thanks to them that I had to take my indoor shoes and my recorder home every day. Sounds like you had a rough time. Yes, it was rough. It was because I'm pretty. But then, it can't be helped, can it? Although nobody can be considered perfect. People are weak. They're ugly. They get jealous and try to bring others down. Oddly enough, the better you are, the harder it is to live. Don't you think that's wrong somehow? But I can and will change it. And all the people within this world. You're putting too much effort into a crazy cause. Oh, you think so? Well, I think it's better than your efforts to dry up and fade into nothing. You know... I hate the way you accept your weakness as a positive. It's stupid. Yuki Noshida carries the pain of someone who has more than others. It shouldn't be too hard to hide that and go through life lying to everyone. After all, that's what people do in this world. But Yuki Noshida doesn't do that. She would never lie to herself. I'm sure she and I are alike in some way. I couldn't help thinking that. In spite of myself, even the silence in that moment felt comfortable, like it belonged. I felt like my heart inside me was wanting to race faster than even the second hand, itching to press forward. Then, then she and I... Hey, you can Oshida. If you want, I'll be... Your yeah, friend. that's not gonna happen, sorry. What? But I wasn't even finished telling you what I... Come in. Uh, excuse me? So Miss Hrotska sent me here. What? What is Hiki doing in this room? Well, um, I'm a member of this club. Really? Is Hiki supposed to be me? Also, who is she? Yui Yui Gahama of Class 2F, correct? Well, have a seat. <gasps> wow, you actually know who I am. I bet you've memorized the name of every student. Not so. If you remember, I didn't know who you were. How could I forget? You don't have to feel bad. I can only blame the weakness of my heart for wanting to avert my eyes from your existence. Are you trying to make me feel better? No. I'm being Are... sarcastic. This club looks like a lot of fun! Huh? And Hiki, you're sure talking a lot. Huh? Ah, uh, no, sorry. What I meant to say is, you're just totally different from the way you are in class. I mean, you usually act sort of weird and creepy. Duh. No slut. What? Who are you calling a slut? I'm still a virgin. No. Oh, I'm not a It's really nothing to be embarrassed about. What I mean is that. Oh, you... What are you saying? I'm a second year. It's super embarrassing. Shouldn't you be a little girlier than this? Such values are pointless. I don't know. Saying something like girlier sounds pretty slutty to me. Stop it! Calling someone a slut is so not cool. You're such a creep, Hiki. Calling someone a slut has nothing to do with creepiness. Stop calling me Hiki, slut. What? Huh? You are so damn creepy! I can't believe you would say that! What? Cookies? Apparently our friend here would like to make homemade cookies for someone. But she's not very confident, so she wants our help. This is her request. <sighs> Why don't you ask your friends to help you with this? <sighs> yeah, well, I, um, I don't really want any of them to know. And it's just that it'd be weird acting serious with them. I guess, I see. And besides, I heard from Miss Hrotska that this club is supposed to grant students wishes, right? Not quite. The service club only assists people. We don't just give fish to starving people. We teach them on how to fish so they can be independent. That's kind of amazing. That's crooked. Can't you even manage to put on an apron correctly? Sorry, thanks. And what am I supposed to do here? You can taste them and offer your opinions. How in the world could someone really mess up so much and so often? 
It looks kind of like the charcoal they sell at the hardware store. I feel like the royal tester. I didn't put poison in it! It might be poisonous, though. We won't die, right? Well, let's think on how to improve this. How about Yuigahama never cooks again? That's how you're planning to solve things? Maybe you're right, then. I suppose I'm not cut out for cooking. I guess I just don't have the talent needed. The only solution is to try harder. Yuigahama, you just said you don't have any talent, correct? Uh. Try changing your perception. People who don't apply even minimal effort have no right to go around and envy those with talent. Unsuccessful people are unsuccessful because they can't imagine the effort that successful people have invested. Yeah, but lately everyone says they don't even cook like this. This just isn't who we are. <laughs> Could you find it within yourself to stop trying to match everyone around you? It's terribly annoying. Aren't you embarrassed waiting for others to tell you why you're awkward, clumsy, or foolish? I mean, come on. You're... You're so cool. Huh? You don't say anything superficial. Actually, that's kind of cool, you know? What? Were you even listening to me? I believe I was being rather harsh to you. Yeah, your words were kind of harsh and all, but I felt that's how you actually feel. All I've ever done is just try to be like everyone else. Mm. Sorry, next time I'll do it right. Teach her the right way. Show her what to do. I'll give you a demonstration. Do exactly as I do. <gasps> totally different. How am I supposed to make you understand? I don't get it. Why are you guys trying to make cookies that taste good? What are you saying? Come back to this room in about 10 minutes. I'll show you some real handmade cookies you've never experienced before. Now it's my turn in the showdown. These are what you call real handmade cookies? These things don't taste very good. You think so? Sorry, I'll toss them. But wait a second! You don't have to go and toss them all out. <laughs> I mean, they're not really that terrible. Yeah? Well, these are the bad cookies you made, actually. Huh? What are you talking about? Here's a relevant little story I once heard about a friend of a friend. There was a girl he knew who'd tell him everything that happened to her. I thought, I mean, he thought, this must mean she likes me. I've got it made. So he made up his mind, and he asked her, Hey, so who is it that you like in our school? Just his initials. Huh? Uh, H. H? That's my initial. Is it me? What are you talking about? You're being creepy. Would you stop? Wait a minute. So that's a personal experience of yours? Hey, now! I told you, it was a friend oh, of a friend! please. And just what are we supposed to take away from that anyway? I don't know. I guess the guys are just simple and stuff. They'll get the wrong idea if you so much as talk to them. And they'll be happy just to get handmade cookies from you. So they don't have to taste good. They don't taste good? Well, shut up! As long as he knows you tried your very best, wouldn't that make him like you? I would think that's the response you're looking for. Is that how it's supposed to work? Would it work on you, Hiki? Huh? Sure, it'd work great on me. And stop calling me Hiki, okay? So, what are you going to do, Yuigahama? Yeah, I think that I'm going to go ahead and try it my way. Thanks again, Yuki Noshita. <laughs> Did we really do the right thing? Did we handle Yui Gahama's request? What are you yakking about? I think if you really want to improve yourself in some way, you should go out there and try to challenge your own limits. And maybe that would have probably benefited Yui Gahama most in the end, don't you think? Your efforts will never betray you, but they can always come betray your dreams. Huh? Not all dreams will come true through effort. Actually, most of them won't even come true. But if you tried your best, you can take solace in that. That's self-satisfaction. You're naive. It's creepy. Huh? Hello, guys! You need something? What? Am I no longer welcome to come in here? Yuki Noshita, do you hate me? But why? I wouldn't say I hate you. You're just not my type. That means the same thing in girl speak, you know! So did you need something? This is thanks for the other day. I made cookies. But I'm not really hungry. Man, it's pretty fun once you give it a try. Maybe I'll try making a box lunch next time. 
Oh, and you came on. Let's eat lunch at the club room together. No thanks. I like to eat my lunch alone, so I think I'll pass on that offer. And Yukinon creeps me out, so don't- Also, Yukinon, I'm free after school, so I'll help with the club. It'll be fun! Yeah, this is- what would you call it? To Are say you listening? Yui Gahama. Hiki! <laughs> I just want to show my thanks. You helped me just as much last week. <laughs> well, this sure looks like something ominous. Feels like some kind of bad omen. But I'll accept it with gratitude. <laughs> and stop calling me Hiki. to live in groups. <laughs> Carnivores maintain a hierarchy. Those who don't become the Alpha must shoulder that stress their entire lives. <laughs> oh, for real? What is this? That is so cool! The herbivores surely feel the dilemma of sacrificing their peers in order to survive attacks from their natural enemies. This is totally awesome! Can I move it for a sec? Uh, yeah, sure. This is why living in groups is of no benefit to the individual. As such, I choose to take the path of the bear, which never lives in groups. Bears are known for being solitary creatures that feel no insecurity in having to live alone. Better yet, they get to hibernate. How awesome is that? If I were to be reborn, I would definitely want to be a bear. You gave some serious props to bears. I thought you were supposed to be a modern Japanese teacher. I'm supposed to give you life guidance. That's why the biology teacher told me to assign this theme. So, which part of this is about the ecology of wild animals? It's a powerful antithesis on the social habits of wild animals. Seriously, cut the crap. You make it sound like living in groups is some sort of sin. But you live alone yourself and are, in fact, single... <laughs> Anyway, did that request for help go well? Yeah, well, she seems satisfied with our services. Um, speaking of, what's with that showdown you talked about the other day? Oh, that thing? Don't you worry about it. I'll be passing my own one-sided judgment on the outcome. It's all locked up in here. Uh, oh, and by the way, what's your opinion of Yukino? Don't like her. I see. She's a very bright student, if you ask me. But those who have more than others carry their own burdens in their own way. She's actually very sweet. Sweet, and sometimes she's right. But the rest of the world is neither sweet nor right. Must be hard for her. You're both such troubling kids. It just makes me worried that you'll have trouble adapting to society. It makes me want to bring you together in one place. What is that room? A sanatorium? Yeah, maybe. But I think you kids are fun to watch together. <laughs> so maybe I just want to keep you two close by. Oh. Normally, I have the best place to eat lunch alone, without having to worry about people. But when it's raining like this, I have nowhere to go. Aw, hi, Ito. I can't go today. I have my club. Couldn't you skip just for one day? There's a great deal on Double Scoops at 41 Flavors today. I want a chocolate and chocolate one. Those are both chocolate. <laughs> yeah, he's right. They're totally different, and I'm really hungry. Sorry, I'll have to pass. Besides that, you'll live to regret it if you eat too much. Yeah, well, I don't gain weight no matter how much I eat. Yeah, you totally look like a supermodel, Yumiko. Your legs are gorgeous. <laughs> So, anyway, I just, uh... You think so? But that Yukino Shida girl looks even more amazing, doesn't she? Yeah, that Yukinon sure is amazing. Yukinon? Oh, well, you're way more glamorous, Yumiko! Hmm? No, oh, why not? I can go with you after my oh. club. Okay, Hayato. Send me a text. Uh... Damn, that looks really rough. Are they a feudal society or what? If you have to kiss up to people that much to feel complete... I'd rather fly solo forever. <gasps> well, I, uh... I've got somewhere to go during lunch. Yeah? Good. Then you could pick up some of that lemon tea I like. 
silly me forgot to bring a drink today. Uh, but the problem is I won't be back here until fifth period. I'll be gone for all of lunch, so I don't know if I can possibly bring it. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You know you haven't been very sociable lately, Yui. Well, you might just have to say, it's kind of out of my hands for now. I hate to let personal matters take me away, <sighs> That but... doesn't tell me anything. Just say it straight. We're friends, aren't we? Sorry. I told you, sorry doesn't cut it. There's something you want to say, isn't there? Idiotic. Go ahead, tear down your own friend. It's not like I have any desire to actually help her out. But when I see a girl I know looking like she's about to cry, my stomach twists up and nothing tastes good. Besides, it's my job to get attacked by people, not hers. I just can't let her take crap like that. Hey, how about... Back off! How about I go and get myself something cold to drink right now? Or maybe I'll just sit down instead. There. Oh, yeah? Let me say this for your sake. That indecisive attitude of yours is really getting annoying. Sorry. That again? All you've been doing is apologizing. You're apologizing huh? to the wrong person, Yui Gahama. <gasps> Listen, Yui Gahama, if you're going to invite me yourself and then not even bother to show, I have to wonder what that says about you. If you're going to be late, isn't it common courtesy to at least text me? Oh, sorry. Please forgive me, but I don't have your cell number. Oh, right. Then I guess it's not entirely your fault. I'm sorry. I'll let it go this time around. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute! You and I are not finished talking this out! Talking? You consider what you're doing having a conversation. Wow. It appeared to me like you were just forcing your opinions on her. Huh? I'm sorry I didn't understand. I'm not well versed in the ecosystem you all seem to live in. Sorry, I thought you were an ape trying to intimidate me. It's fine if you want to play King of the Mountain and try to look tough, but please keep it confined to your own territory. Your bluff will soon rub off, just like your cheap makeup. Huh? What are you talking about? That makes no sense. Okay, okay. That's enough, Yuki Noshida. Mm -hmm. You too, Yumiko. Huh. I'll go on ahead, okay? Uh, right, thank you. I'm coming. I'm gonna go get a drink. Yeah, me too. Later. I think I'll go to the restroom. Oh, I need to go take care of that. I'll have to ride this big wave too. If the mood gets any more serious in here, I'll suffocate and die. Thank you for that, Hiki. I mean, for standing up for me back there. Sorry, it's just, I feel uneasy when I don't go along. Like I end up trying to read the room or something. I've always been like that, you know? When we played house, I wanted to be the mother, but if someone else wanted to do it, I'd be the dog. It might be because I grew up in a housing complex. I have no idea what you're trying to babble on about. You're right. I'm not really sure I know either. But, um, watching Hiki and Yukinon make me think. They say what they think and pick up on each other's moods, and they seem to have fun without trying to match each other. They just seem right. So I thought maybe I was wrong to try so hard to get along with everyone else. I mean, Kiki is totally reclusive, right? He pretends to sleep during breaks and laughs while he reads books, and it's uh, creepy. <laughs> I thought you only did that in the club. Didn't know you did that weird laugh in class, too. Well... That really is creepy, so you should probably stop. If you noticed it, then say something. No way. I don't want to talk to you when you're being all creepy like that. And well, that's the whole story. I mean, it's not that I don't like you or anything, Yumiko. So, um, do you think we can still try to be friends? Well, sure. I guess we can. Sorry. Thank you. Perfect. She can actually say it. Listening to what? You were! Eavesdropper, creepy, stalker, pervert, super creepy! You're seriously way 
too creepy for your own good. Why don't good. you learn a little restraint? Huh? Why should I show any restraint now? Whose fault do you think it is, moron? <laughs> what does she mean, whose fault? <laughs> Obviously. It's Yuki Noshida's, right? What are you doing? <gasps> Would you not sneak up on us like that? Fine, sorry. So, what are you doing? <laughs> There's someone suspicious in the club room. What? <laughs> Imagine finally meeting you here. I've waited so long for this. Hachiman Hikagaya! <laughs> Person? No way. Even if I knew him, I wouldn't. Don't tell me you've forgotten the face of your partner. I'm disgusted with you, Hachiman! He says he's your partner, Hiki. That's right, partner. I know you have to remember all those hellish times we went through and the suffering we endured together. I might have been paired up with him in gym or something. <clears throat> A most evil custom, indeed. Find someone to pair with, they say. <laughs> I am a man who could perish at any time. I am not one to just make friends with. <sighs> what do you want, Zaimokuza? Wait, so you do know this weirdo? Well... I am the Kango Shogun! Yoshiteru Zaimokuza! So this friend of yours wants something from you, I take it? I told you he's not my friend. That's right! I have no friends in this place! Seriously, not a one. None. Anyway, Hachiman, this is the service club, right? Huh? Yes, this is the service club. I thought as much. If the advice Miss Hiratsuka gave me was correct, then you have a bound and sacred duty to grant me my wish, Hachiman. To think, after centuries, our bond is still that of master and servant. Could it be the guidance of Hachiman Daibosatsu? The service club wasn't put in place for granting yours or anyone's wishes. We are only here so we can help people. Then, Hachiman, please lend me your assistance. <laughs> As I recall, our bond is that of pure equals. Let us strive once more to conquer this hedonistic world to our liking. What happened to our master-servant relationship? <clears throat> Come now, such trivial things matter not between you and me. I shall forgive. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Hikigaya, a moment. What exactly does this guy mean by Kengo Shogun? That's a delusion of grandeur. Delusion of grandeur? A delusion of grandeur is... So, he's not actually sick, per se. I don't get it. So, you're telling me he's basically just acting out a setting he's created for himself? That's about right. And... Just because he happens to have the same name, he's apparently convinced that he's the 13th Muromachi Shogun, Ashikaga Yoshiteru. So then why does he regard you as his partner? Probably because my name is the same as Hachiman Daibosatsu, the bodhisattva revered by Seiwa Genji. I'm surprised. You're well informed. I guess. Well, he's just basing his setting on actual history than on some fantasy within his head. There are people worse than him? Yep. Purely for my own reference, what others are there? You don't know the first seven gods of this world which includes the three creator deities, the Emperor Galan, War Goddess Methika, the Protector, Hartia, as well as... You're pretty smooth with leading questions. It's kind of freaking me out. I almost went into way too much detail. I wasn't trying to lead you into anything. So creepy. Well, you know, I may have been like that once before, but not anymore. I don't make up stupid fantasies anymore. And I've graduated from cosplaying. I'm not keeping spiritual world diaries or government reports. The only thing I still write is a list of people I'll never forgive. Yuki Nan, run! I think I understand. Your request is you want us to heal this mental illness, right? You are gravely mistaken. I have come here to request that you grant my wish as per your agreement. It is the I most I am the one who is speaking to you right now. You need to turn and look at people when they speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, good heavens! And stop talking like that. <gasps> You're awesome, Yukinon. Anyway, 
You'd like us to cure you of this illness, right? Uh, I really wouldn't call it an illness. Hey, don't be so... Huh? Is this... A manuscript for a novel? Indeed. That is a manuscript for a light novel. I am thinking of submitting it to a certain newcomer contest, but no friends means no opinions. Please read it. <sighs> that was dreadful. He told us something really sad without a second thought. Aren't there sites you can submit these to? Just post it there. I can't do that! Those people are ruthless! I would die if they criticized it too harshly! Your heart needs to toughen up. But, you know... <laughs> she would probably be way more ruthless than any place you would find online. The foundation of this story is spatial rupture, that which they call Dimension Driver! In the end, it grants the World Parliament access to the Akashic Records. Hachiman? Hachiman! Huh? Oh, sounds lame. <laughs> now hold on, relax, Hachiman. Listen, the heroine also has the hammer of the gods. Gunger Hammer! And it... I'm surprised. When I look upon your face, my sleepiness has gone instantly. <sighs> I was too close to being deceived by her looks and losing my mind there. Wish I could put this woman to sleep forever. Now then, let me hear your thoughts about my novel. I apologize, but I don't understand this sort of thing very well. No matter. I wanted to hear the opinions of ordinary folk. Say whatever you need to. Fine. It was quite terrible. Reading it was actually painful. It was unspeakably tedious. <laughs> For my own reference, might I ask what part of it you found to be so terrible and tedious? First, the grammar is atrocious. Why use inverse word order? Do you not know how to use particles? Did you not learn it in grade school? I used a style that would sound more familiar to readers. Shouldn't you achieve a minimal mastery of Japanese before you attempt that? And the improper uses of furigana. Chikara is not a possible alternate reading of Noroku. Let me ask you this. Where does the nightmare in this bloody nightmare slasher come from? Oh, you got it wrong! In modern battles, the use of furigana adds a unique touch Why to... Why does the heroine take off her clothes here? There's no need for it at all. Oh, I'm not amused. But without elements like that! Could you not force others to read a story that isn't complete? Get some common sense before attempting to show off literary talent. <laughs> don't you think that's enough damage for now? You don't want to criticize them all at once. I'm not finished just yet, but all right. Well, I guess Yui Gahama is next. <laughs> it, oh, yeah. So, you know a lot of difficult kanji. <laughs> oh, okay, Hiki. <laughs> Achiban, you understand it, right? <laughs> So, what was that a rip-off of? What? A rip-off? How could you say such a thing? I'm a true original! How could you I not say you're a I'm a blithering idiot. My... What the? Well, what's important are the illustrations. Don't worry too much about the story for now. Hi, Mokuza. 
you read my work again? Does he like pain? After everything we said, you still want more? Of course. Indeed, your criticism was harsh, but it still made me happy. Having someone else read the work I wrote for pleasure and being able to hear their thoughts on it is a good thing. I look forward to it. Fine then. We'll read it again. Farewell for now! When I write something new, I'll bring it to you! Yeah. What he has isn't just a delusion of grandeur. He's got full-fledged writer's fever. He wants to write because he has something to write about. If he can move someone's heart with that, then all the better. That's what writer's fever is. Zymokuza doesn't need to change. for that creepy side of his. <laughs> Good work. My hip! My hip! <laughs> Achiman, what amazing artists are popular lately? You're getting ahead of yourself. Think about that after you <laughs> If it sells well, it gets animated. Maybe I'll marry an Forget actress. Forget about that stuff right now. <laughs> Just write, okay? If it sells well, you think I can have wild parties every night? You're not gonna have wild parties! Get your head out of the cloud! One pair up! Pass it to me! I'm not feeling very well, Coach. Can I just hit it off the wall? I'll just bother people otherwise. Here it comes! Nice! It's too perfect. This is the countermeasure to pairing up that I've mastered since I've spent so many years alone. The double whammy of I'm not feeling well, plus I'll just bother people. They produce a synergistic effect and subtly show that I am, at least, willing to participate. Maybe I'll teach it to Zymokusa someday. That shot was crazy, man! You're exaggerating! I just happened to slice it the right way. Sorry. That was totally a magic shot! You're awesome, Hayato! Now I'm gonna have to nail one, too! Here, man! It's my magic slicer! My bad! Hey, a uh, little help. Would you mind hitting the ball over to me, Hikitani? Who the hell is Hikitani? Thanks, Hikitani. Sorry for that. Yeah. Why did I nod to him? Looks like I've instinctively determined that Hayama ranks above me. Pretty submissive, even for me. I slam my impending depression against the wall. Ah! Walls are an unavoidable part of you. I feel at peace when I eat lunch in my favorite place. This school is situated near the coast, and because of that, the winds start to change around noon. The sea breeze we get in the early morning blows towards the ocean, as if going back to where it once came from. I suppose I kind of like this moment. Oh, it's you, Iki. Huh? What are you doing out here by yourself? This is where I always come to eat my lunch. What? For real? Why don't you just eat in the classroom? Get a clue. What are you doing out here anyway? Oh, that... Well, you see, I lost a game with Yukinan, so this is my punishment. Your just punishment is talking to me? N no, that's not what I meant. I just meant the loser has to go buy drinks. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to die there for a minute. First, Yukinan said, I can obtain my own sustenance, thanks. Where is the joy in fulfilling such meager desire just for conquest? That was her trying to get out of it. Well, that sounds like her, all right. Yeah. But when I said I would probably lose, she agreed. That sounds like her, too. Oh, well. I've done this with the girls before. But this is the first time I thought a punishment was any fun. <laughs> the girls? You sound like you're in a clique. That was mean. Are you saying you don't like friend groups? Are you dense or something? Of course I hate in-groups and in-jokes. Oh, but I do like me some in-fighting. But that's because I'm not part of any of the in-crowd. <gasps> oh, yeah. But you and Yukinon sound like an in-group when you're talking with each other. Sometimes I have a hard time joining in your conversation. Yukinoshida's different. She's a force of nature. 
What do you mean by that? Meaning something people can't do anything about because it's who they are. Sorry for using such a difficult term. I'm not dumb. I know exactly what that phrase is supposed to mean. Quit making fun of me, you condescending toolbag! I took the entrance exam to get into Sobu High too, you know? What the? <coughs> hey, speaking of that, I was thinking, do you remember that day of our ceremony? Actually, I was in a car accident the day of the ceremony. An accident? Was it when you went... Hey! Oh, it's Sai! What's up? Hey there. What are you and Hikigaya doing here? Eating lunch together? Nothing special, really. So are you practicing now? Yeah. You have your club and practice during lunch? Didn't you choose tennis as your PE activity? That must be hard. Not really. I do it because I like it. So, Hikigaya, you're pretty good at tennis. Huh? He is? Yeah. He has a really nice form when he plays. Ah, uh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Who are you? What? You're in the same class! I can't believe you! Well, I'm afraid it's true. I'm Saika Tosca, and I'm in your class. Uh, I don't really hang out with girls that much. I mean, I don't really hang out with the guys either. Oh, I understand, but I'm a guy. Huh? Hikigaya. Hmm? Too close, too close, too close! So, um, actually, there's something I wanted to ask you about, if that's alright with you. Sure, okay. Yeah, well, it's actually about our tennis club, and if you didn't know, we're really quite terrible. We have few members, and once the third years leave, we'll probably get even worse. Oh, that's a shame. So I was... Thinking, if you don't mind, that maybe you join our tennis club? Huh? Not possible. What do you mean, not possible? Now you listen here. I said not possible. Come on now. All I have to do is give the tennis club a good old shot in the arm. My plan was for me to quit the service club. And then I could pretend to join the tennis club. From there, I could gradually fade out from that activity too. Do you honestly believe that you're capable of group activities? No group would accept someone like you, much less have them play on their team. Uh. Now true, it may cause the team to become unified, just by the fact of accepting you as a common enemy. But no, working together so that they can get rid of you wouldn't really improve their performance at all. So it wouldn't solve their problem. Source, my own. Yeah, that does make sense. Wait, where did you come up with that? I used to live overseas. While I was enrolled in middle school, all the girls there, well, they were determined to get rid of me. But they never could succeed, since none of them could ever improve themselves enough to be better than me. Those stupid imbeciles. Hmm. Isn't there anything we can do to help out Totsuka at all? Are you normally the type who worries about other people? Well, you know, it's just that this was the first time anyone ever came to me for help, so... You can't hand out help for every request. It's just not always the best solution, you know? Well, fine then. What's your solution? Let me see. I would perhaps have them all run until they die, then swing until they die, then practice until they die. How's that? <laughs> yeah, hello! I brought someone with a request for help! <clears throat> oh! Hikigaya! Totsuka? Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, my club meets in here. What about you? Oh, you know, since I'm a member of the service club, I thought it would be good to help you all out. And it looked like Sai over here needed some help, so I decided to bring him with me. Yuigahama. Don't worry, there's no need to thank me, Yukinan. I was only doing what a club member should do. But Yuigahama, you aren't exactly a member of this club. I'm not a member? She's not. This isn't one of those things where she's just suddenly a member somehow. No. 
You never turned in an application. Plus, you haven't received the advisor's approval yet. I'll fill one out. I'll fill out so, all the you're Saya Katatsuka? Uh. <clears throat> Very well. Request accepted. You would like us to help improve your tennis ability, right? Yeah, I do. I think if I can get better, maybe the others will work hard with me. Hopefully. So, what do we do? I just told you earlier. Or did you forget? Wait, you were what? actually serious about that? So I want to try a little longer. Fine. Then please, Yui Gahama, take care of the rest. Huh? Oh dear. Well, I guess she got tired of me, since I'm not improving. I don't think that's the case here. Yukinon doesn't turn her back on people who are relying on her. That's true. After all, she put up with your horrible cooking, didn't she? What do you mean by that? <laughs> hey, huh? you're playing tennis. So, mind if we play some tennis here too? Miura, but we're not really playing right now. What was that? I can't hear you. Yeah, Totska got special permission to use this court. No one else can use it right now. Yeah? Well, you're using it, aren't you? No, I'm helping in practice. It's like a subcontract or outsourcing. Huh? What are we even talking about over there? You're so creepy. Come on, don't try and pick a fight with these guys. It's more fun to play with everyone. Everyone? Who do you mean, everyone? Huh? huh? The same everyone you use to beg your mom for something by saying everyone else has one? Who's that supposed to be? I don't have any friends, so I never got to use that excuse. I didn't mean for it to come across that way. I'm sorry. If something's bothering you, we can talk. Hi, Emma. I appreciate that you're always kind, and I get that you're a really nice guy. You're an ace at soccer, and you're quite the blonde, good-looking guy to boot. You must be quite popular among the ladies. But where's this coming from? Someone like you, who has so much already, wants to waltz in almighty and take this court from me who has nothing but this? Do you feel no shame at all by your audacity? Uh-huh. Precisely, good sir Hayama. Your behavior is clearly an abhorrent violation of simple human ethics. This is so sad. It's four times more depressing with them both here. Uh -huh. Hey, Hayato. Will you hurry up? I want to play tennis already. Hmm. All right, let's do this. As a fellow and former outsider, I'll play against Hikitani, and the winner will get to use this tennis court during breaks from now on. Um, what's that? And the winner will help you practice, too. After all, you should want to practice with someone good at tennis. Sound good? No way! This sounds so fun! And since that's the case, we might as well play mixed doubles. Oh my god, I'm so smart! <laughs> this is bad. No girl would be willing to assist a dull, solitary guy like you. What will you do? I'll play with you, Hiki. Huh? Well, what can I tell ya? I'm in the service club now. So I should, shouldn't I? Idiot, don't you dare do it. Mira's glaring daggers at you already. What? Is she really? Surely you do realize, Yui, that you would be playing against me, right? You okay with doing that? I... I wouldn't say that, but you have to understand that my... my club is important to me. Hmm. Okay, let's begin. Fifteen love. She's good. Well, Yumiko was chosen for the prefectural girls tennis tournament in middle school. So those ringlets aren't just for show. That's actually more of a loose wave that she wears. Game! Ow. Hey, are you okay there? 
sorry. I might have twisted my ankle a little. He'll mess things up for Sai if we lose. This really stinks. Well, you know. Hmm? Why don't you just stand on the court and not move at all? I think I can handle the rest. What will you do? Well, worst case, I get serious now. When I get serious, I've got no problem with licking boots to get things done. I don't think that's what you really should be doing. Wait just a minute. What's the problem now? Did you two fight? Did she abandon you? Don't be stupid, you insolent fool. I've never been in a fight before. In fact, I've never even had a friendship that was deep enough to have a real fight. <laughs> Self-deprecating jokes really freak people out if they don't really know you, huh? 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 Well, either way, I guess it's time to grovel. When sucking up, you throw away your pride first. That's what I'm proud of. I'll show you what happens when I get serious. What's all this ruckus going on? What's with that outfit? I don't know. Yui Gahama just asked me to put it on and come down here for some unknown reason. I couldn't stomach the idea of us losing like this, so I just wanted you to come play for us. Why choose me for this? Because you're the only good friend I can ask to do something like this, you cannot. Good friend? Really? Yeah, you're my friend. Take care of your injuries. I couldn't find the school nurse anywhere, so it took longer than I thought. Thanks so much. You sure are a nice person, Yuginan. Well, it seems a certain creepy little boy has been calling me the ice queen behind my back. <laughs> Though, not that I really care what anyone thinks about me. So then, if it makes you happy, I don't mind if you call me a friend, either. Yuginan! <laughs> Could you not cling like that? You're smothering me. You're Yuki Noshida, right? Sorry, but so you know, I can't go easy on anyone. Don't worry, that doesn't bother me. I'll just have to go easy on you. I'll crush that cheap pride of yours to dust. <laughs> it looks like you've given my fret, my fellow club member, a great deal of grief down here. Are you ready to get broken? I may not look it, but I like to hold a grudge. That's exactly how you look. <laughs> She was making the same wretched face as the girls in my class who always picked on me. I can easily discern what such low lives are thinking. <laughs> Game! <laughs> Our forces are positively overwhelming! Mow those suckers down! You're awesome, you can hide! Ridiculous person, you know that, right? Keep that up and finish this thing. Believe me, I'd love to do that if I thought I could, but that's asking too much out of me. Huh? The one thing I lack confidence in is my weak stamina. <laughs> Deuce! I heard what you just said. You came in out of nowhere, but I think you're probably just about finished. Come on, I think both teams did their best here. It's a tie. Hayato, what are you even saying? This is a match. We have to finish it for real. He will now be the one finishing this match off. So just give in and lose. Huh? Listen, I may say rash and improper things, but I have never told a lie. Lunch break will be over soon. Normally I'd be finishing lunch in my favorite place right now. Serve. We have a match point! 
now you mention it, I've heard of this. The legendary ability to manipulate the wind's power like that. The wind's successor, Yulin Sylphide! I don't believe what just happened. You got me there. That was a magic serve. As a kid, how many people did you play baseball with? Uh, well, 18's the usual number. That's true, but I usually play baseball alone. <laughs> That's right. I've gotten through everything alone. While all of you were arguing and consoling each other, and giving pats on the back, I was taking on everything head on alone. What do you think of this string? Damn you! Insufferable you! Look at that! It's the meteor strike! God of destruction in the sky! What exactly is the meteor, the meteor strike? strike? It's not that big a deal. Just a pop up. This allows me to throw, hit, and catch the ball by myself. What is that serve? Yumiko, get back! Oh no! says day of high school and she'll never let me live it down i got too excited about the start of my new life so i left home a whole hour early huh? <laughs> and ended up hospitalized with a fracture that was when i knew i'd always be alone in my new school by the way, after that wreck, the dog's owner came over to say thanks for saving our dog. She brought you desserts. They were really good. And I never got to eat any of them, did I? <laughs> God, she's so annoying. But the girl who brought the desserts goes to your school, so you've probably met her already. She said that she would thank you at school. Why didn't you tell me this back then? Well, didn't you get her name then? <laughs> I forgot it. Oh, we're at my school. Well, it looks like I'm off then. Thanks again, Big Brother. See ya! Uh, huh? <gasps> oh, Big Brother! Such an idiot. People in manual labor requires high risk to earn high returns. 
Therefore, my decision to start a family without working is appropriate and in fact entirely justifiable. This is why I have decided that requesting my home be the workplace for a stay-at-home dad is perfect for my career observation. <coughs> you know what I'm about to say. Do you not? I'll rewrite it! Don't hit me! You better believe it! And here I was, thinking you had changed a bit. Hasn't your time in the service club influenced your attitude at all? I always say my motto is stick to your gun. If you don't want to get shot by my annihilating second bullet, you'd better shut your mouth while you still can. Just try and spare me the exterminating last bullet. Hmm. Glad you're catching on fast, Hikigaya. Anyway, you will resubmit your application survey. Also, I forgot to tell you, but students will attend this workplace observation in groups of three. You can team up with whoever you want, just make sure to come prepared. I don't want random people from my class coming into my house at all. I take it you still intend on observing your own home, huh? Seriously. You didn't see her? See who? Hey, you! Uh, what's with you? Since you hadn't shown up to the club room in a reasonable time, you had to be looked for. By Yui Gahama, that is. You don't have to use inverse word order to stress that it wasn't you. I'm well aware. I even went around asking people, you know? And they were all, Hiki Gaia, who's that? That made it really difficult for me to find you. Well, well, sorry about that. Thanks. Not like I minded or anything. So, like, maybe... Give me your number? Cause I shouldn't have to run around looking like a fool looking for you. It's distressing! I mean, I don't want people knowing I'm looking for you, that is. That's fine with me, I guess. <gasps> you want me to type it? Also, I'm amazed you can just hand over your phone like this to someone. You're typing really fast. It's normal. I bet your fingers are only weak cause you don't have any friends to text back and forth with. Well, that's rude. I'll have you know that I texted with a girl in middle school. No way. Hey, that was my phone. Oh, I was just having a hard time imagining you texting a girl. Listen, moron, it went down like this. When we were changing classes and everyone was exchanging numbers, I took out my phone and looked around. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you want to exchange phone numbers? You might as well say I was popular enough for her to ask me that. Well, huh. Sometimes kindness is cruel, isn't it? Don't pity me. I did text her as a matter of fact. What kind of girl was this brave little schooler? She was a health nut and very refined, if you must know. She was such a devout health nut, in fact, that when I texted her at 7 in the evening, she would always respond in the morning saying, Sorry, I was asleep. See you at school. <laughs> that means that. She pretended she was asleep to ignore your text. Hikigaya, don't avert your eyes from the truth. Accept the reality. <sighs> I know what the reality is, you little fool. Uh. Hell, I could probably write a Hikipedia article on it. Looks like the sender line of a spam message. Uh-huh. Something wrong? What? No. Nothing's wrong. It's just... I got a weird message on my phone. It's surprising is all. Hikigaya, if you don't want to end up in court at some point, you should refrain from sending such vulgar messages. You just assume it's sexually charged, huh? And I'm the culprit. Let's see the proof you have. I think your words are proof enough in this matter. <laughs> There are certain lines that criminals always say. Where's the proof in all this? Impressive deduction skills. You should really write crime novels for a living. I'm not comfortable being in the same room as a killer. Really? That sounds more like the victim. It's basically a death flag. Is that what you think? No, I don't think Hiki's the culprit for this one. Why do you say that? Mm, I guess because it was about people that are in my class. So Hiki would have nothing to do with it. Except I'm in the same class as you. Oh, I see. Then Hikigaya can't be the culprit now, can he? She considered that to be valid evidence. Well, these things are bound to come up now and then, but I just don't worry about it, that's all. Huh? Huh? Uh, hey! Uh -huh. I wanted to ask a favor. This is where the service club meets, right? <laughs> I instinctively admitted defeat again. Miss Hiratsuka said that this was the place to go to if I had a problem that needed fixing. So... Man, I had a hard time getting out of my club meeting. We don't need to hear your story. 
You came to ask us for something, uh, Hayato Hayama? Oh, yeah, about that. Oh, that weird message. <laughs> Tobe is a delinquent from Inage, staking out West High kids at the arcade. Yamato dates three girls at once. He's total scum. Oka takes out rival school's aces with rough play. A chainmail, huh? Since this started going around, it's been really awkward with everyone in class. And it makes me mad to see someone writing this awful stuff about all my friends. Oh, but I'm not interested in finding out who did this. I want to settle this thing peacefully. Can you help me? Hmm. There it is. Special technique, the zone. Allow me to explain. The zone is an inherent skill that only those who live truly fulfilling lives may possess. Its most prominent characteristic is its ability to put a situation in order. Because they're fulfilled in real life, they're kind even to people who are often scorned. One might call it a unique atmosphere belonging to good people with strong charisma. I see. So you want us to get the situation under control? Hmm. Yeah, that's about right. Then, we'll need to find the person who put out the message. Hmm. I'm counting. What? But why? You don't have to do that. Chainmail? A despicable action that tramples upon the dignity of others. Their intention is to hurt those people, while at the same time making sure their own identities are never known. In order to stop this disease effectively, it must be eliminated at the root. Source, my own. Your own experience? Killed it at the root, then? At any rate, people like that must be thoroughly destroyed. That's my way. I will find the one who did this. I believe a single word can stop them. I'll let you decide what to do with them after that. Is that all right with you? <laughs> sure, that's fine by me. When did you notice that the messages started to show? It was last weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, something happened in your class, huh, Yuigahama? Ayama? Nothing in particular that I know of. Hmm. Yeah, it was the same as always, for the sake of asking. And you? What is that supposed to mean? Last weekend, huh? So it was pretty recent that this started. Workplace observation will be in groups of three. Workplace observation? Oh, that's it! It's because we're split into groups. I think I know who's doing it. Could you explain? Some people can't be grouped in events like this. It can really affect their relationship afterward. These people can get pretty sensitive. A workplace observation is done in groups of three. So with a group of four friends, one's out. He kicks someone out so as to not be excluded. So, I would think for starters, we can assume that one of those three is the culprit. What? Wait just a minute. I don't want to go about thinking that any of my friends would be the culprit. That message said bad things about all three. I don't think any of them would do it. Are you stupid? Everyone knows the culprit just did that so he wouldn't be suspected as the instigator. And in fact, if it were me doing it, I would pick the one person to not say bad things about so I could frame him. You know, you're absolutely terrible, Hiki. Call me a smooth criminal. Okay then, why don't you start telling me about your three friends? Hmm. I admit, Tobey often looks like a bad guy, but he's the most easygoing and cheers people up. He's the most proactive when stuff like this happens. He's a good guy. So he's a class clown who isn't good at anything but making a scene. Uh, hmm? What's the matter? Go on. Uh, Yamato is really level-headed and a super good listener. He does things at his own pace and puts people at ease. He's a good guy. So you're saying that he's dense and indecisive. Next? Oka's really great with people. He's good-natured and always helping someone out when they're in trouble. He's a good guy. people's moods, like a weather vane. Yeah? Any one of these people could be the culprit. What Hayama has said doesn't really give me much to go on exactly. What do you two think of the three suspects we have? Uh, that's a bit hard for me to say, really. I don't really know those guys enough to judge yet. Then would you mind looking into them for me? Sure. Sorry. I understand it's not a pleasant thing to do. I'll do it. Huh? It's not like I care what the rest of the class thinks of me. Plus, finding fault in people is one of my 108 talents. Then I guess I won't expect too much. I'll do it too, then! I can't just leave this to Hiki after all. Besides, I can't ignore a request coming from you, Yukinon! Oh? <laughs> I'll do my best! You sure are good friends. <laughs> Those two are, yes. I meant you too, Hikitani. What is he talking about? 
There's no Hikitani in this club. Hmm. Huh? Okay then. For now, you don't have to do anything. Well, that's a big load off. What are you going to do anyway? I'll see what the girls have to say. After all, girls know more about how everyone in the class gets along. And if I bring up someone they dislike, then they'll get all into it and tell me all kinds of stuff. That girl talk is super scary. Anyway, as I've said, I've got this, so don't worry about it. Well, if I tried to question any people, the punchline would be them asking, Who are you? It's all yours. <gasps> Great! Okay! Huh? <laughs> yeah, so like Tobe, Oka, and Yamato, they're acting kind of weird lately, huh? What do you think is going on there? That's getting straight to the point. I don't remember you being the type to say stuff like that, huh? You know, that probably wasn't one of your smartest ideas. You shouldn't be saying damaging stuff like that about your good friends. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just been on my mind lately. Really? Then do you have a crush on one of them? What? Absolutely not! I mean, there is someone on my mind, but that's just a... <gasps> you have a crush on someone. Come on, tell me who it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> I told you, that's not it at all. I just wanted to know what kind of relationship they have. I hear you. Mm -hmm. So that's been on your mind as well. I feel the same way. Yeah, like it seems awkward or something, right? Personally, I think. But seriously, Tommy is definitely the okay! Uh, and Yamato is the semi! Uh, and Ooka is the inviting okay! There's okay. definitely something uh, going on in that triangle! Uh, One thing's for sure! All three of them are totally after Hayato and my rare one! All three stepping aside for the sake of their friends! The has to be! You know what, girl? You're way cuter when you're quiet, Evina, so learn to blend in. And wipe the blood from your nose. Sorry, I couldn't find anything out. Well, you were doing several things wrong right from the beginning. I'll do it next. Do what next? What do you mean? You're going to ask around? No, I'm going to watch. Huh? I will now disclose one of my 108 talents. Human observation. Only about 30% of human communication is language. The other 70% is gathering information from eye movements and other subtle gestures. In other words, I can actually achieve 70% of communication while remaining alone and silent. Right? <laughs> Good morning! I want you to make miso soup for me every morning. What? Why is that? Uh, nothing. Ignore me. I was half asleep. Did you want something? Have you decided on your group? For the work thing? Have you? Who, me? I, um... I've already decided. Yeah. I figured. Totsuka's in the tennis club. With all the connections he has there, it's not surprising if he has friends in this class. As for me, on the other hand. Now that I think about it, actually scratch that. I don't have to think about it. I don't have any guy friends. Um, really? You know I'm a boy, right, Hikigaya? Does he really think we can be called friends? Friends are like, well, for instance... Did you decide where you were going yet? Yeah, man. I think either media or maybe foreign investments. Damn, dude. You're really looking ahead towards your future, huh? But I guess we should at our age. It seems I totally respect my parents nowadays. So, gonna be serious from now on, are you? Oh, dude. But we can't ever forget our boyish hearts and devilish good looks. Maybe friendship is all about being able to talk to each other about your youth like that. I could never do it, though. I'd burst out laughing. Absolutely. They call each other by their first names as if they're saying this is proof that they're friends or something. Psycho. Huh? Uh, sorry. Forget I ever... I'm so happy! <laughs> That's the first time you've called me by my first name. What the hell? Then can I, perhaps, call you Hiki? That would be a no. Oh, well then, Hachiman? No, uh, say that three times. Hachiman? Hachiman? Hachiman! Are you even listening? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, what were we talking about? What is it? Sorry, I just wondered if you'd found anything out. Not yet. <sighs> Something the matter? <laughs> I've solved all the mysteries within. Well, did you figure something out? I don't know who the culprit is, but I did figure out one thing about them. That group of three is considered Hayama's group. Huh? Why are 
are you even saying that? Uh, what do you mean? Sorry, I said that all wrong. I mean, they only hang out for Hayama's sake. I don't think that's right. Hayama, tell me, have you ever seen those three hang out together without you being around? Well, no, I haven't. When it's just the three of them, they don't really get along at all. In simpler terms, then, Hayama is the one considered to be their friend. Whereas the other three guys, they're just seen as friends of a friend. <sighs> oh, I totally get that now. When the person who keeps the conversation going isn't there, it's awkward. You don't know what to do, so you start messing with your phone. Hmm. Let's just assume that what you say is true on all accounts. It still only reinforces their motive to bring one down. If we can't pin down the culprit, the issue will never be fully resolved. Hi, Emma. If you want, I think I can solve this mess you've gotten into. I know a way those three can become friends, and without searching for the culprit. Not only that, but without anyone having to resort to fighting each other. Wanna know how? Um... By the way, like we were talking about before... Can I sit here? Hmm? You settled it all so peacefully. I appreciate it. It's not like I really had to do anything. The truth is, I didn't do a thing. I just thought I'd drag Hayama down the road to being alone. The reason those three looked like they wanted to fight was because they all wanted to be with Hayama. So all you have to do is remove the cause. In other words, take Hayama out of the picture. I tell you what, they sure were surprised when I said I wouldn't team up with them. But I hope this will be a chance for them to become friends and not depend on me. That'd be nice. Honestly, being this nice must be some kind of demented illness. Hey, man. You don't have a group yet, right? Wanna team up? What is he? An American? Uh, okay. <laughs> Damn it. That made me respond like an American. Oh, man. <laughs> well, let's go. What's with you? What about me? Hachiman! What? What do you mean? What up? You said you already had I meant I decided right from the start that I was going to group up with you! There! Thanks for that. At least you get my name right when you write it. Hachiman! Uh, what day should we go? Is this what other people call friends? I'm going to go wherever you go, Hayato. No way, Hayama! You're going there? I think I'll go there, too. Hayato, you're so awesome! I'm going! Me, too! Well... It's one of those things that can disappear anywhere and any time. You, you've got it all wrong. You've heard of flexible management attendance, right? As a man who strives to become an elite, you I was just- You told me your goal was to be a stay-at-home dad, and that you prefer to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> well, well, you know, the concept of lateness being evil is wrong in the first place. Oh? I'll hear you out before I hit you. The police don't mobilize until after an incident happens, and it's standard for heroes to show up late. But would anyone condemn them just for being late? <sighs> so, speaking paradoxically, lateness is justice. Wait, please don't hit me, miss! I was only kidding! <laughs> I mean, for real. There are just too many problem children in this class. Are you practicing flexible management attendance too, Miss Kawasaki? <coughs> Black lace. Are you stupid? Japanese question. They want you to complete the following idiom. When the wind blows, the KO line stops running? What is this, trans cheap ultra quiz? Yugahama, you're thinking of these days more trains just move slower instead of stopping. Answer, the carpenter gets rich. Now for a geography question. Two local specialties of Chiba. Miso peanuts, boiled peanuts? You think peanuts are all this prefecture has to offer? Oh hey, well hello there, Hiki! I thought it was some weirdo just talking to me out of nowhere. So you were invited to the steady group too? Uh... What's with that face of, oh 
God, we totally didn't invite him. Sorry, but you weren't invited to the study group. Do you need something? You shouldn't ask for answers in ways that are only intended to hurt people. Mm. What's that? What? Oh, yeah. It's info on summer courses. Whoa. You're already studying for exams, huh? Isn't everyone studying for their exams? I mean, it's almost time for college. Plus, I'm trying to get a scholarship for a prep school. A scholar's hip? He said scholarship. These days, prep schools are granting tuition waivers for students with good grades. If I get that and get tuition money from my parents, that money will be mine. That's fraud. What a cheap trick to pull. It's not hurting anyone. What's the problem? Big huh? brother! Komachi, what are you doing here? My friend was asking me for some advice. <clears throat> nice to meet ya! My name's Komachi. Thanks for looking out for my brother. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm his classmate, Totsuka. Wow, you're really a cutie. Right, brother? Sure, except he's a guy. Oh, stop. You quit being such a silly Billy. Wait, really? It, yeah. Promise, I'm a real boy. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Kiki's classmate, Yui Yuigahama. Oh, cool. Pleasure. <sighs> Are you finished? Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Noshida. I'm not Hikigaya's classmate, nor am I one of his friends. I'm truly sorry to say, but I think I'm considered an acquaintance, maybe? Why sorry, and why say it like a question? So, uh, I'm Taishi Kawasaki. I'm at the same cram school as Hikigaya. And like you guys, my sister is a second year at Sobu High. Her name is Saki Kawasaki. <gasps> Black lace. Oh, you mean Kawasaki. She's kind of scary looking. Are you friends with her? Well, I've talked with her, but... You know, you really shouldn't ask a girl that. It can be hard to answer. In fact, I don't think I've actually ever seen Kawasaki acting friendly with anyone in class. Not only that, but it seems like Taishi's sister has developed some bad behavior lately, like coming home late and stuff, so he brought me here for us to try and figure out how to get his old sister back to him. When did you notice all this starting for her? Only recently, and after she got into Sobu High. In middle school, she acted really serious, and she was considerate. I see. So she changed after being put in the same class as Hikigaya? Why did you just say that like I'm the reason behind this? Am I some kind of pathogen? I didn't say that. Aren't you being a bit paranoid, Hikigaya Kakas? You did say it. You just called me a germ. I misspoke. It's Hikigaya Kakas! Check! <laughs> but I had a shield up this whole time! Shields aren't able to keep out Hikigaya germs. Hikigaya <laughs> Kochi must be damn powerful if they can go through shields. Wait, so how late does she come home anyway? I mean, I get home late too. Well, like after 5 a.m. But that's basically morning. Don't your parents say anything to her? Both my parents work. I also have a younger brother and sister, but they don't really say anything to my big sis. Family circumstances, then? Every family does have their problems. I understand. Are you planning to do something? Taishi is the brother of a student at our school, Saki Kawasaki. And since she is the one he has come seeking advice for, I believe this falls within the category of service club work. <laughs> I've been thinking, and I believe that, rather than coercing her, it would be for the best if Kawasaki fixed the problem herself. You're probably right with that. So, what do we do then? Have you heard of animal therapy? So, what are your intentions with my cat? I think by having her interact with the cat, it will hopefully bring out Kawasaki's gentle side. If her heart is moved, then she's sure to take him home. She's not some old school juvenile delinquent. I went ahead and assigned roles for each of us. Now everyone take your positions. Just talking to Kamakura like she was going More to- More importantly, I believe I ordered you to stand by. Are you unable to do a task? I thought I came up with something finally appropriate to your low level. But I didn't realize I'd have to stoop even lower. I can tell by the look in her eyes that she'll kill me if I try to talk back. Komachi, what's up? Hi, brother. 
This is Taishi. Hikigaya just You have no me... right in calling me your brother like that, understand? <laughs> hey, why'd you hang up? I'm busy. I'm waiting for your sister. Well, it's about that plan. My, uh, my sister's allergic to cats. Even if she can't go and talk to her parents because they're too close to her, maybe she can talk to another adult about it. Right? Kawasaki. Hmm? Need me for something? I hear you've been getting home late recently. What are you doing and where? Who gave you that information? I can't go revealing my client's secrets. Just answer my question. What does it matter where I go? It's not like I'm bothering anyone. It might start to bother someone real soon. You're only in high school right now. Haven't you thought about how your parents might feel about this? Wait a minute. How would you even know? It's not like you've ever been a parent. Huh? Aren't you single? <laughs> if I were you, I would be more worried about your own future than trying to look into mine. Like getting married. Oh no, poor teacher. <laughs> I'm going home. Someone just marry her already. Seriously. If changing made her worse, then it'd make sense that if she changes again, she'll get better. Yeah, but how can we change her? There's only one thing that will always make a girl change. You know, love. <sighs> okay. Long day. You look tired. Do you have work now? You know, you shouldn't wear yourself out. Thanks for all your concern. You know, mm -hmm. you don't always have to act so tough around everyone. Yeah, whatever you say, dude. Uh, I feel like I've been rejected. Oh, uh, no. Good job. It's not nice to laugh at someone. <laughs> no, no. It's okay. It doesn't bother me. I'm not your damn brother, all right? What are you even talking about? Of course you're my big brother. Anyway, Taishi said his sister just got a phone call from some weird place. So what he's saying is that she received a phone call from the owner of a place called Angel something? Yeah. And when they searched around for stores in Chiba City that are open till morning with Angel in the name, they only came across two. And one of those is this place? I'm embarrassed to say, but I don't know much about maid cafes. What are they like? I don't know much about them either, so I decided to invite someone who does. Ahem! <laughs> My time has come at last to assist you! Seriously? It was you who invited me! Why are you making that face? I was just thinking it's gonna be a pain to deal with you. Then just follow me quietly, to where we can just sit back and have the maids pamper us. Huh? No pamper us? What's wrong with you? You're starting to creep me out now. Anyway, isn't this the kind of place that only guys go? What are we supposed to do while in there? It looks like women are welcome too. Me welcome back, master! Ah! Oh, sorry to keep you waiting, master. Well, does it look okay? Wow, you look so cute, Yuigahama. Right, Hachiman? Uh, uh. Yeah. Really? <laughs> you think so? Ha! You're only cosplaying as a maid. Your soul is an end to it. I would rather see you. Wh what? Master. <laughs> wow, you cannot. No way. That looks great on you. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Now then, it appears Kawasaki isn't here. You checked already? Her name wasn't on the shift chart. Considering her employer called her at home, I don't think she'd be using an alias. That's odd. What's odd? A sullen girl like her working in secret. Meow, meow. Welcome back, master. Hey, what are you doing here? That's obviously how it's destined to turn out! What? None of that made sense. <laughs> Let's just go to the second place. The top floor of the Hotel Royal Ochre. Angel Ladder. A stairway to heaven? S sorry for the wait! The other two said they didn't have anything to meet the dress code. I see. Check these outfits. Yukino has lots of fancy dresses like these in her closet, and she lives alone. Seriously, who even are you? You exaggerate. I only have clothes like these because they're called for on occasion. 
Most people never have those kinds of occasions. Stand up straight and stick out your chest. Pull in your chin. Hmm? Kawasaki? Hmm? Sorry, sir. Do I know you? I don't believe we've met before. Only you, Hikigaya, would be in the same class as someone and them not know your face. Yuki Noshita? Uh, hi! Yuigahama. So he's from Sobu High, too? Yeah. Well, what are you doing here? Don't tell me you're on a date with this guy. Certainly not. If you're talking about the object on my right, that's not even a funny joke. Do you think you could possibly stop being so mean to me when you're busy arguing with somebody else? Your little brother's worried about you. He says that you've been coming home late recently. <sighs> I thought people had been fussing over me. So it was because of you guys. I don't know what Taishi told you, but you don't have to worry about me. Stay out of it. Cinderella's spell wears off right as the clock strikes midnight, but I guess your spell wears off about now. If my spell's wearing off, doesn't that only mean there's a happy ending for me? I don't know if that's in the cards, Little Mermaid. Unfortunately, I believe a terrible ending is waiting for you. Hey, what exactly are they talking about? People our age can't work past curfew. So Yuki Noshida is saying she suspects Kawasaki is lying about her age. Oh. Then why not say that instead? You have no intention of quitting? Hmm? No. That's just not right, Kawasaki. I like to pull some part-time work when I'm short on money, too. But I would never lie about my age to do it. It's not... Look, I just need money. Yeah, we get that, but you're pushing it. Says the guy who says he wants to work smarter, not harder. You heard that? Life isn't so light. I'm not working for money just to go spend and play around. Don't lump me in with those idiots. You guys all strut around and talk like you're big, but can you three help me out with any money? I'd like to see you all try and shoulder the debt that my parents can't pay off. Well, if you really need it... Stop right there, Yuigahama. If you keep talking, you'll only give in to her. Hey. Yukino, isn't your father a prefectural member? Someone who's got it as easy as you could never understand me. <gasps> hey, now! Yukinon's family has nothing to do with any of this, you hear? Then my family has nothing to do with this stuff either. M maybe not, but what about Yukinon's- I only knocked over a glass is all. It's nothing for you to worry about, just let it go. I think it's time for us to leave. Kawasaki, I want to talk to you about Taishi. Give me some time tomorrow. 5.30 at Wiki D's. Why? I'll tell you why when I see you. Later. Hold on. There's not enough money here. They didn't cover my part of the bill? Son of a... Taishi? What are you doing here at this hour? I should be asking you that. Tell me, what have you been doing out all night? It's none of your business. Kawasaki, let me take a guess why you're working so much, and the reason you need the extra money now. Taishi. Has anything changed since you started back middle school? Yeah, I started going to cram school as well. I get it. She wanted to pay her brother's tuition. And... Wrong. What? When he started attending cram school in April, the Kawasaki family had already reached a solution regarding his tuition. That sounds about right. After all, he's not the only kid out there who has to pay tuition for school. We go to a college prep school, so a lot of students start thinking about college by the second year. That's when they start giving serious thought to taking summer courses. Big sis? <sighs> I told you, you didn't need to know where I was at night. I want to go to college, and I don't want to be a burden to you and our parents. Um, can I say something? So yeah, our parents both work and aren't around a lot too. When I was little, I hated coming home and finding nobody at home, so I ran away. And it was my big brother, not my parents, who came after me. And ever since then, he's been getting home before I do so that I never have to be alone. I'm eternally grateful to him for that. I thought Hikigaya went home early because he has no friends to hang out with. Hey, how did you know? What are you, Yukopedia? Oh no, I mean, I totally realized that as well. But I'd say my explanation is worth more points, don't you think? <laughs> so what are you trying to say with that? 
I simply mean that just like you don't want to be a burden to your family, Taishi doesn't want to become a burden to his big sister either. It'd make me happy as a fellow younger sibling if you'd understand that. Well, that's pretty much it. <sighs> so, um, Kawasaki, have you heard of scholarships? Is that what it's like to have siblings? Depends on the siblings you have. You could also call them the closest stranger in your life. Oh, yes. I understand that all too well. Uh, oh, that's right. So you did get to meet her after all. Huh? What are you on about? You know, the girl with the desserts. Good for you! To think you got to meet a cute girl like Yui all because you broke a bone. What did she just say? Yui Gahama is the girl who brought the desserts? The owner of the dog I saved on the day of our entrance ceremony? What's the matter, big brother? Nothing. Wanna buy some bread on the way home? This concludes our workspace observation. You may go now. Hiki! You're late. They all went to the restaurant already. Well, are you going as well? Huh? Oh, no. I was waiting for you to come down. I mean, I'd feel bad leaving you behind and all. You're a really nice person, Yuigahama. But listen, you don't have to worry about me anymore. Huh? It was a total fluke that I saved your dog, you know. Even if I hadn't gotten into that accident, I probably still would have been alone. You don't need to feel bad about that. <gasps> Sorry, I guess I made you worry about me. But you don't have to anymore. If that's why you're being nice, then just stop it. Oh no! Well, I mean, it's not really like that at all, Hiki. It's as nice as they come. She'll probably stay that way to the end. Oh. Jerk. <laughs> I hate nice girls. If they so much as say hello, it stays on my mind. If they return my text, my heart races. The day one calls me, I know I'll look at my call history and grin. But I know in my heart, that's just them being nice. People who are nice to me are also nice to everyone else. I almost end up forgetting that. If the truth is cruel, then lies must be kind. That's why kindness is a lie. I gave up on always expecting it, always mistaking it. Someone who's been alone for so long doesn't fall for the same trick twice. I'm a veteran. I'm the best there is when it comes to losing. And that's why I'll always hate nice girls. Have some hope for that girl. It's not as if Yui Gahama's quit. If she doesn't come, then it's the same thing. I never found out what Yui Gahama likes. Or even what her hobbies are. What kind of friend am I? Oh, sorry. I guess I got a little carried away. I want to tell you properly. You don't have to concern yourself with me anymore. So it's over now, right? Jerk. Next time. saved your dog, you know. Even if I hadn't gotten into that accident, I probably still would have been alone. If that's why you're being nice, then just stop it. Why did it turn out like this? Jerk. <laughs> Wait! Save <laughs> all! <laughs> it's so hot!
managed a complete reset. By resetting our relationship like this, I regain my inner peace. And Yuigahama is free from her sense of obligation so she can return to her fulfilling daily life. This definitely wasn't the wrong choice. No, I know it's the right one. So this whole matter is said and done with. We just have to reset and go back to our respective lives. You can't reset life, but you can reset human relationships. Source, my own experience. I haven't contacted any of my classmates from middle school. Wait, that wasn't a reset. That was a delete. <laughs> so, something happened with you and Yui Gahama? No, nothing. I don't think Yui Gahama would stop coming here if nothing happened between you two. Did you have a fight? No, we didn't. I don't think so. Anyway, we couldn't have. Fighting is something you do with people you're friends with. So it wasn't so much a fight as... A dispute? Nope, but that doesn't sound too far off. Then maybe a war? That's completely wrong, and further off. An annihilation. Are you even listening? You're further. Different opinions. Is that about right? Something like that. Well, nothing we can do then. What? Yui Gahama's not here again? Do you not know how to knock? And here I was, holding in some hope for that girl. <sighs> um, teacher, mm -hmm. did you want something from us? That's right, Hikigaya. I certainly do. I think we should make that showdown a battle royale. A battle royale? Just the two of us? You can go ahead and recruit new members if you need to. Doesn't look like Yui Gahama's returning. It's not as if Yui Gahama has just quit. Not coming to the club is quitting. No need to waste time on any unmotivated members. Anyone who doesn't attend can leave. Uh, um, can I leave? I have neither motivation nor discipline. Huh? Uh, I didn't think so. Anyway, thanks to Yui Gahama, I now know that a club is more active when it has more members. Here's an opportunity. You are to go out there and actively recruit at least one new member with both motivation and discipline by Monday. Got it? You can... start now. Yeah, this is tyranny. Perish the thought. I'm only trying to help in my own special way. Miss Horetska, I just want to confirm. You want us to increase our membership, right? That's right, Yuki Noshida. I wish you luck. How does she think we're supposed to increase our membership? I have an idea of someone who might just be interested. Ooh, Totska? Totska? Totska, right? Yui Gahama. Huh? But isn't she quitting? If she quits, then she just has to join again. Miss Horatska said we only need to increase our membership, not who we bring in. Will she come back that easily? When someone leaves, they usually just don't come back. The date, June 18th. Ring any bells? No. It's Yui Gahama's birthday, I think. Her email address has a 0618 in it. But you've never actually asked her about it. <sighs> Gotta love those communication skills. <laughs> the point is, I want to do something for her birthday. Even if Yui Gahama doesn't decide to come back to the service club, I want to show her my gratitude for helping us out. I see. Hey, Hikigaya? Yeah? Th that is... Well, um... Uh. Would you please go out with me? What? I'm sorry to make you come and hang out with me on one of our days off. No problem! I want to be able to buy a birthday present for Yui as well. And it's gonna be fun to go out with you! Okay, let's be efficient about this. I'll go that way. Then I guess I'll head over that way and have a look. Okay, Komachi, then you go over there. Stop! Uh, my god, what the uh, hell are you uh, doing? Uh, that hurts! Since we're all here, why don't we go together? Then we can give each other advice. Sound like a plan? But then we won't have a chance to make it to every store. Not to worry. My sound shopping judgment tells me that based on Yui's tastes, as long as we hit everything in this area, we shouldn't have any problems. Komachi, you meant around this area, right? Hmm? What? Did you see where she went? Hello? Hey, where are you? Huh? Oh, I totally... 
totally forgot that there was some stuff I wanted to buy. You're the one who said we should all go together. I didn't realize your brain was already starting to go downhill. As your brother, I'm a little shocked. <sighs> Jeez, you really can't take a hint, huh? What do you mean, can't take a hint? Never mind. I'll probably take like five hours to finish. I'll go home by myself if I have to. Good luck to you two! Uh, hey, what the... How does good luck help with buying any of this stuff, idiot? Yuki Noshida. What did Komachi have to say? Oh, um, she said there's something she wanted to buy, and that she's leaving everything to us. Well, we did bring her here on one of her days off. We've got no right to complain about this. Let's just figure something out on our own. Thank you very much! Let's go. <clears throat> hey, you think I look that suspicious? I don't think it's you, per se. It just looks like men are viewed with suspicion in this area. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do here anyway. I'll be over here. Wait. Are you leaving this all to me then? Not to brag or anything here, but my standards are quite a bit different from those of regular high school girls. So you do realize it. So, um, well, I would appreciate your help with finding something. I've given a gift to a girl before, and been rejected, of course, but I've never actually bought anything for one. Yeah, but I can't go into these stores. <sighs> I guess we've no other choice. Try not to put too much distance between us. What the hell does that mean? Do I have to spell it out for you? If all you can do with the air is breathe it, then any air conditioner out there is way more advanced than you. Uh, she has a point. It'd be damn convenient if those things could read the air, too. I'm saying that, just for today, I hereby give you express permission to treat me as you would your girlfriend. Nice way to try and talk down to me. You've got a problem with it? Nope, none in particular. What? Um, what? It's nothing to be that surprised about. I have absolutely no interest in being her boyfriend. Yuki Noshida doesn't lie. We'd definitely be pretending, no doubt about that, so no one would get the wrong idea. I was certain you would dislike the idea immensely. Nah, I don't really have any reason to not like it, but I thought you'd probably hate it. No, I don't really mind at all. As long as there's nobody around who knows who we are, then there's no need to worry about anyone getting the wrong idea. like this with him. I guess I really should go talk to him about this. I didn't even have the chance to give him the cookies. <laughs> You're not shopping for office supplies. If you pick out clothes based on their durability, you'll never settle on anything. Come on now. I doubt seriously she looks for defensive properties in her clothing. I can't help it. The material and stitching are the only things I know how to judge. I never bothered to find out what Yui Gahama likes, or even what her hobbies are. What kind of friend am I? Don't see why you need to know. If you pretended to know me based on offhand info, I'd be pissed. Like giving a Chiba resident peanuts from some other prefecture. That comparison was too Chiba-based to make sense. It's like giving wine to a sommelier when you know nothing about wine. I see. If it's like that... Well then? I don't know how to answer that, except to say it looks good on you. You think so? Thank you. But I didn't mean me. I was asking you how it would work for Yui Gahama. I don't know about that. It seems to me that Yui Gahama would prefer stuff that's more frilly and somewhat stupid looking. That's a harsh way to put it. It's so accurate, I don't know how to respond. I'll take this. Yeah, sounds good to me. Well, anything does. You're getting that too? Huh? Yukino? Uh, I can't believe it's really you! It's me. Huh? Who's me? What? <laughs> I'm Yukino's older sister, Haruno. What's your name? Oh, Ikigaya. That's so. Well... So you're Hikigaya, huh? Well, nice to meet you. How long have you two been going out? 
Come on, why don't you just tell me? We're in the same grade as all. Oh. I'm telling you I'm not her boyfriend. Look, you're getting all serious there. <laughs> if you make Yukino cry, I'll never forgive you, got it? Hurts. She's too close, too close, too close! And she smells good. All right, that's quite enough, oh. me. No, sorry. I guess I got a little carried away for a minute there. Yukino can be a very delicate girl at times, so be nice to my little sis, okay? Uh, sorry, did I do something to make you uncomfortable? Uh, you know, um, my ears are sensitive. Hiki Gaia, don't reveal your fetishes to strange older girls you've just met, or you can't complain if they try to sue you. Hiki <laughs> <laughs> Gaia, you're so hilarious! Are you finished yet? If you have no business with me, we'll be leaving now. Hikigaya, if you actually start dating, let's grab tea. Your big sister really is something. Everyone who meets her says the same thing. I suppose it's rare finding someone as perfect as she. Everyone likes to sing her praises. Huh? That doesn't sound like it's so different from you. Is that a roundabout brag? When I said she's something, I meant... Well, it's almost like she's wearing a powered exoskeleton. She has the whole package, really. She's friendly, always smiling, and conversational. Truly any guy's ideal woman. But ideals are ideals. They're not real. So it seems kind of fake. Coming from you, it's not surprising you can actually see through that. That's supposed to be a compliment? If you would like. It's a rave review. What the? talk to you about our future. Oh, no, please! You, you didn't have to worry about my feelings and all of this. I mean, yeah, I was surprised and all, but it's more like I want to celebrate and congratulate, you know? Y you already figured it out. I want to congratulate you properly. Also, I'm grateful to you for helping with... Oh, stop it. I didn't do anything that you should be grateful for. I haven't done anything. But still, I'm forever grateful to you. Congratulations doesn't always have to be about something you did, right? That's all I want to do. Fine. Sure. I get the feeling they're not quite on the same page. 
So with that, I... I don't think I want to hear anymore. Yuegahama, huh? I think you're getting the wrong idea here. What? Wait a minute! So you guys aren't actually sneaking around and dating each other? Of course we're not dating. Yuigahama, even I manage to get angry sometimes. Besides, there's no way he's even capable of having a proper relationship with a girl. He can't even handle relationships with regular people. Stop. I don't need to waste my time on those relationships. If a girl called me crying in the middle of the night, I'd dump her then and there. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Our time to congratulate you has run out, and I even made you a cake and everything. A cake? Why a cake? Why a cake? I called you here today because I wanted to celebrate your birthday with you. Huh? What? You haven't been coming to the club recently, so it was sort of a bonus. And, well, I guess you'd say a token of thanks. Is that a present? <laughs> you can win! Yeah, well, it's not like I'm the only one who brought you something today. <laughs> I never thought you'd have one for me too, Hiki. That's a surprise. It's been a little weird, huh? Since the other day. Sorry. It's not because it's your birthday. Huh? I mean, can we all just forget this just happened now? The fact that I happened to save your dog, and the fact that you were nice to me because of that. All of it. It's not like I helped you specifically just so as to get gratitude out of you. So there's no need for you to feel indebted to me specifically. But, well, you know, I want to return the kindness you gave me. This makes us even. You don't have to concern yourself with me. In other words, this is over now, right? Uh... Why do you think of it that way? As just pity or being nice? I never once thought of you in that way, ever. I guess I just, well... I'm just not sure. It's too complicated. I thought it would be much simpler than all this. There's nothing complicated about it. Hikigaya has no recollection of helping you. And you have no recollection of showing him pity. You were mistaken from the start. So I think Hikigaya's idea of ending all this turmoil is the right idea. But I don't want it to be over. Not now, not ever. Silly. If it's over, all you have to do is start again. Neither of you has done anything wrong. What? Even if one of you is the savior and the other is the saved, you're both victims equally. Only the one who's done wrong should be viewed as the aggressor here. If neither of you were wrong, there is no need to fight in the first place. So, the two of you can make a proper start now. As of today. No. I need to go inform Miss Haratska that we've recruited a member to our club. So, can I open that? Knock yourself out. I need to speak to you immediately concerning the service club's summer activities. Please call me back. Come on, are you still sleeping? I've tried to call and email you several times. You've actually seen them, haven't you? You have, haven't you? You're scary. You're scaring the crap out of me. Next time. Anyway, 
Getting no rest over summer break just is scary. Tonight, I'll reply back. Sorry, the power was off. Or I must have had a bad signal. If I do it that way, she can't hold it against me. Source, my own experience. In middle school, whenever I worked up the courage to message a girl, I got these responses 40% of the time. 30% of the time, I got no response. And the remaining 30%, I got responses from some foreign dude named Mailer Damon. You got me. Miss Horatska, please contact me as soon as you get this. Hikigaya, I need to speak to you immediately concerning the service club's summer activities. Please call me back. Come on, are you still sleeping? I've tried to call and email you several times. You've actually seen them, haven't you? You have, haven't you? That's way too freaking scary. I just had a glimpse of one reason why Miss Horatska can't get married. She must like me a whole lot, jeez. You're scary. You're scaring the crap out of me. <sighs> I'm finally done with all my summer homework! Well, good for you. Big Brother, you know I studied really hard to finish it off. I'm sure you did. I think I deserve a really cool reward for all the hard work I put in. What are you, an office lady from Aranuchi? Whatever. I need to be rewarded. So I proclaim here and now that you have to come with me to check out Chiba City. Well, that's a huge leap of logic. Huge enough that I bet it could have won the Birdman rally if it were entered. What do you want over there anyway? I can't get you anything too expensive. I've only got 400 yen on me. Uh, that wouldn't buy anything. I didn't really want anything specific at all. I would just be happy to hang out with my big brother. Hey, I'd give myself a lot of points for that one. You're a pain. Fine, I'll go with you, but change your clothes. If you go out looking half-dressed like that, I'd have to shoot laser pointers in the eyes of every pervy guy who walks by us. Oh, hey, I'd give myself a lot of points for that one. You're way too overprotective of me, and don't be creepy. I don't know what you want to do in Chiba, but if you just want me to hang out with you, that's fine with me. Yay, thanks, bro! You should go change into some better-looking clothes as well, big brother. <laughs> there. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Chiba, Chiba, Chiba! So, how about you tell me why you didn't answer my calls? Well, all's well that ends well. I was just relieved to finally get in touch with your sister after exhausting myself. She's got a scary way of texting and checking in on me. Anyway, you need something? I'm going to Chiba. We're going to Chiba. You still didn't look at my texts? Huh? You're late, Hiki. Oh, why are you guys here? Why, for the club, of course. Yui! Hello! Komichi! Hello! Is that greeting a thing now? Stop it. It's stupid. And Yukino, too! Yellow! Yeah. <sighs> Afternoon. <laughs> so happy you invited me along! Using my affection for my sister to lure me out, that's low. My sister's the lowest one of them all. Hachiman! Hmm? <laughs> nope. I foresaw this and just pretended to be lured Hachiman! out by my sister. Hachiman! <laughs> Thank you, God. I knew you were there. Totska! Yellow! Hey! Oh yellow. my God, that's so cute! Let's make that popular. All right, then. Time for us to get going. So, um, why are we taking the highway to get to Chiba Station? Let me ask you this. When did you come up with this grand delusion that we're going to Chiba Station, huh? What delusion? When people say they're going to Chiba, that You thought we meant Chiba Station? No, we're going to Chiba Village! Not what you expected. Why did you get so hyper about that? It's ingrained in me. We were here for our outdoor class in middle school. Hi, Emma. Hey there, Hikitani. Why are you guys here? Looks like everyone's here. 
You're going to be volunteering. Doesn't that sound like fun? Volunteer work? You're going to work as assistants. This camp school will act as part of a training camp for your club. Finally, let's say hello to the young men and women who are here to help you during your stay at the camp. Nice to meet you! Please note you can come talk to us about anything at any time. I hope you will all make loads of great memories while having fun here at camp. Can't wait to work with you! So, um, what are Hayam and his friends doing here exactly? They were short on staff, so they offered extra credit to recruit volunteers. It's a good opportunity. You guys need to start to learn how to work with other communities around you. That's impossible. We'll never get along with those people. That's not what I mean. You don't have to get along. I'm just saying to try and work with them. Learn how to work side by side instead of ignoring each other or finding ways of being hostile. You know, that's just what it means to be socially well-adjusted. Now then, kids, let's get ready for orienteering! Okay, your first job is to help make sure orienteering goes smoothly. So just work together and make sure trouble doesn't break out. Man, these grade school kids are so young. Being in high school must make us old fogies, huh? Will you cut that out? You make me sound like an old hag or something. But when I was in grade school, I found all the high school kids seemed really grown up and mature. I'm with you. I think high school kids seem really grown up and mature as well. Excluding my brother, of course. Hey now, I'm really grown up and mature too. What more do you want? I grumble and I tell filthy lies and I do really underhanded things. I never knew you had such a sad image of adulthood. Hey. What are those kids doing over there? I'll check it out! It's okay, it's just a harmless rat snake. Oh, you're amazing! You touched it too! It's fine, they don't bite, and they're not venomous at all. I don't want to touch one, whether it bites or not! Yeah! yeah. Huh? <sighs> just like stand users are drawn to one another, Lonely people have a knack for finding other lonely people. Hey, big brother, can you tell us where the checkpoint is located? I'm not sure where it is. Hey, will you look for it with us? Sure. I'll help you with this one. But don't tell the others I helped, okay? Sakubo <laughs> well, Hayama, master of communication, sharing secrets. Is this another technique needed to work well with others? Big brother, I think this is really bad. What is it? You have no chance of beating a hot guy like him. Danger, danger, danger. Red light ahead. Shut up. Go away. This very well may be terrible. Higatani, you have a strong yuk aura, but a lazy one. So if Hayama makes a move on you, you'll be down fast. Uh, really? Guess I'll be careful. Did you find the checkpoint yet? Not yet. I see. Then let's all look together. What's your name? It's Rumi. Surumi. I'm Hayato Hayama. Nice to meet you. Think it might be hidden over there? Hey, did you just see that? He just went up and talked to her so easily. He even got her name like it was nothing. A trick you could never master, even if you spent your life trying. Although still, I can't say it was a good way to go about it. I guess that kind of thing happens in grade school, too. Grade school and high school students are not any different. We're all still humans, no matter the age. That should stoke the fire, don't you think? Seems like you've got a lot of experience doing this. <laughs> I may not look it, but I went to barbecues all the time during my college days. The couples would all hang around flirting while I just sat there and lit the fire. Ugh, made me sick to my stomach. Boys, start the fires. Girls, get the ingredients ready. Okay! Dividing up the boys and girls. You still holding a grudge? You sure you're okay? Well, considering we're cooking outdoors for a bunch of rowdy sixth graders, the menu's appropriate. Everyone's personality comes out when making home-style curry. My mom's curry has a bunch of stuff in it, like thick fried tofu. It's so good. Ours too! Huh? And fish paste cakes, am I right? I guess. Don't be so casual all of a sudden. You'll think we're friends. 
Mom's curry always has stuff like that, too. Not long ago, our curry had weird leaves in it. My mom's kind of a space case when it comes to things like that. Do you think she might have put some Laurier into her curry? What? Laurier? I can't believe some kind of leaf got put into the curry! Just to let you know, Laurier are bay leaves from the bay laurel tree. <clears throat> oh, so it's not just a tissue brand? Now we just wait for everything to cook. If you aren't busy, how about going around and helping? Well, we don't get many opportunities to talk to grade school kids. So sure. Sounds great. I'll watch the pot. Don't worry about that, Higaya. I'll be sure to watch your pot for you. Tell me, do you like curry? I agree. When you speak to a lonely person, keep it quiet and confidential. Do not startle them. You have to use the utmost consideration to avoid making them feel exposed. Not really. I don't care about curry. Good answer. If you answer favorably, people will think you're full of yourself. And if you answer curtly, they'll think, what's with that attitude? A strategic retreat is your only hope. Since we're making curry, why don't we add a secret ingredient? Who has something? Me, me, me! I think we should add some fruit to it, like peaches! Is she some kind of idiot? They're all idiots. Huh? Yeah, well, that's how most people are in the world. Good for you for realizing it. You do realize you're part of most people. Don't you underestimate me. I have the extraordinary ability to be alone even in a large crowd of most people. Only you could say something like that with such pride and conviction in your voice. I've gone beyond exasperation to contempt. If you're beyond that, wouldn't you end up at respect? So your name? What exactly is that supposed to mean? I'm asking what your name is. Wasn't that clear enough for you? Generally, when you ask for someone's name, it's polite to give your own name first. Uh, Rumi Sarumi. I'm Yukino Yukino Shida. And he's... Hiki... Hikika... Hikika Ribbit, was it again? Hey, how did you get a hold of knowing my fourth grade nickname? In the end, they dropped the Hikika and just called me Ribbit. Hey, Ribbit, you're having the call already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hachiman Hikigaya, and the one here running is Yui Yui Gahama. You're Rumi Tsurumi, right? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Those two, they seem kind of different from everyone else. Like they're both a little off. I'm different too. From others. What do you mean by different? They're all such kids. So I I figured I'd just as well be alone. But I think having friends and sharing memories from grade school are important things to have when growing up in the world. I don't need any memories. Once I start middle school, I can just make friends with kids coming from other schools. Sorry to tell you, but I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. <laughs> the kids who are ostracizing you now will probably be in middle school with you too. So it'll just end up happening again. And this time they just do it along with the kids coming from other schools. So that's it. That's how it works. I've really been acting stupid. What happened? I've excluded people at times here and there. But it eventually ends somehow. And I'm back to talking to them again. Someone always says something and everyone else just jumps on board. After doing that for a while... Before I knew it, I was the one being excluded. It's not like I really did anything to them. Am I gonna end up like this in middle school too? I hope she's okay. Hmm? Is there something worrying you? Well, it's just there's one girl who's sort of all on her own. I feel sort of bad for her. No, they don't understand the real problem. There's nothing wrong with being isolated or being alone. The problem is that she's been driven to isolation by malice. So then, what do you guys want to do? Well, I... I want to be able to do whatever I can for her. So you want to do whatever you can, huh? <clears throat> Look, you can't help her. You couldn't before. <sighs> what about you, Yukino? You said earlier this doubles as a training camp for the service club, correct? So, it's possible that her case falls within the scope of our club's activities? Volunteering at this camp school is technically a club activity on its own. 
Fundamentally, I think it's fair to say that her case does qualify. Understood. Then if she seeks our help, we'll use any means necessary to find a solution to her problem, okay? That's great, but do you think she wants your help? I don't know about- You can on. Mm -hmm. I think she wants to, but she just can't seem to say it aloud. Remember what Rumi said? She once did the same things to others? Maybe. She feels bad for being the only one coming to ask us for help. I bet the others feel the same. Even if they want to talk to her and be friends, the circumstances around them make it impossible. Anyone opposed to helping this kid out? Good. Then all of you think about what you should do and then go ahead and get started on it. In the meantime, I'm going to bed. Ah! Um. um, you know, that girl is pretty cute, so shouldn't you just hang out with other really cute kids? I mean, she takes a shot at talking to them, and then they become like friends. Piece of cake, right? That's totally it. You're so on the ball, Yumiko. Yeah, I know, right? That only works for you because of who you are, Yumiko. But I think Yumiko's got the right idea. At least to establish a foothold. Although, in her current situation, it might be too difficult for her to even talk to them. Oh, please? Go for it, Hina. She just has to live for some kind of new hobby. When you're absorbed in a hobby that you really love, you start going to events and making new acquaintances. I think it'll help her find out where she belongs and give her some options. She'll realize pretty soon that school isn't everything. I made new friends through our mutual love of Yowie! Huh? Every girl loves to watch the gay guys! So, Yuki Noshida, you and I Yumiko, should- Yumiko, uh, go with uh, Nina to get some drinks. Okay! Come on, Amina, let's go! Hey, I'm still evangelizing! Stop. Hey, wait! I guess this Seriously? won't be solved unless we Let come up with a way for all of them to be friends somehow. <laughs> all of them, huh? That would never be possible. Not in a million years would that work. Hey, what's the deal with you, Yuki Noshida? What's that? Seriously, why do you go and say stuff like that when we're supposed to be getting along here? I don't really like you at all, but here I am putting up with it for the sake of this stupid camp trip. Come on, Yumiko, that's enough. Oh, I didn't know you thought so highly of me. That's really too bad because I don't like you at all. Yukinon, hold it in. But, um, Rumi seems like the abrasive type, so it might be hard for her to fit in. Yeah, you're right. She does seem a bit distant, maybe even a little frigid. Frigid? She totally looks down her nose at everyone she comes into contact with. She's excluded because she goes around acting like she's above everyone, like someone else I know. That's just your own persecution complex. Maybe you feel like you're being looked down on because you're aware of your own inferiority. You know something? It's because you say stuff like- Yumiko, stop. Uh, hmm. I'm never gonna get to sleep like this. Who's there? It's me. Who? Why did you say that like you didn't know me? We are in the same club after all. What are you doing here at this hour? You should be in the midst of eternal sleep. Could you please not sentence me to death and disguise it as kindness? Are you looking at the stars? Mira tried to pick a fight with me in the cabin. I spent about 30 minutes out arguing her until she cried. Things got awkward, so you left? Truth is, I never expected her to start crying in front of everyone. For the moment, Yui Gahama is there consoling her. Honestly, I thought someone like you could handle the pain of someone crying. What the hell? I think I'll take up bawling. We need to help that girl out. We can't just leave her like that. You're awfully motivated to help someone you don't know. Everyone we've helped has been someone I didn't know. After all, I don't ever reach out to help people because I might know them. Besides, doesn't she remind you of Yui Gahama a bit? Does she? Yeah, I think... Yui Gahama must have had some kind of similar experience in her past. That and... I think Hayama has been concerned about her well-being, too. So, well, um, is there something between you two? We just went to the same grade school. Plus, our parents know each other. His father is working as a corporate lawyer for my parents' company. Is that so? I guess it must be kind of tough knowing someone through family. 
I suppose it must be. You're acting like this isn't about you. It's my sister's job to make appearances on the outside like that. Well, I'm just... just an understudy. But even still, I am glad I got to come here today. I didn't think I'd get to. Really? Why is that? I'm gonna head back now. Okay. Later. Right. Good night. Pachimon? <sighs> what? What? Is this a morning after scene? Is this the morning after? You're finally awake. Morning after. Everyone else left already. You better hurry or you'll miss breakfast. Oh yeah. I'm at the camp, aren't I? I'm betting you don't have a regular routine in the summer. Huh? I don't. You're also not getting any exercise, are you? Let's play tennis sometime. Yeah, sure, okay. Just drop me a line whenever you want to play. Great! I will! So it looks to me like I'm gonna... need to get your phone number then, aren't I? I've only ever used my phone as an alarm clock with built-in time killers. Now it's finally going to have Totsuka's phone number. Hey, Hachiman, why are you crying? Let me send you a test message. It's me, Saika. Good morning, Hachiman. This is my first text to you. Hope to hear from you soon. Yeah! Hachiman, uh, what's wrong? Are you okay? Today's plan. Tonight, we've got a test of courage and a campfire party. The kids have free time during the day, so use that time to get everything ready. Great, a campfire party. That's where you do folk dances. It's like that alien summoning Ventura Ventura dance. I believe you're thinking of the Oklahoma mixer. How did you even mix those two words up? I can see how it would happen. The people doing it are basically aliens anyways. Hachiman, that's a mean thing to say. I didn't mean it that way. I have my reasons for saying that. When I went to a campfire dance in grade school... We don't actually have to hold hands, do we? All the other girls did what she did. So I was the only boy doing an air Oklahoma mixer. Hikigaya, your eyes look dead. I'm thinking that makes you perfect to play a monster. Scarring kids with the test of courage, huh? There are some monster costumes laid out over there. Divvy them up and get to it. Okay! okay. Uh. <sighs> Stacking logs alone like this is like playing Jenga, but much better. Huh? You can play Jenga alone? What? You don't? That's finally done. See? Stacking the blocks alone is what makes Jenga fun, right? Isn't that right? It isn't, is it? Hot. Hot. That looks refreshing. That's cold! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look who it is! Oh, Yahoo! Oh, Big oh, brother! Why oh, don't you come join us? What are you guys doing out here? Why are you in your swimsuits? Miss Horoska said we could come play in the river since it's so hot. True, but more importantly, this is my new swimsuit! Look! 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 Well, tell me what you think of it! Hmm? Let me think here for a minute. It's the cutest in the world. You didn't even try. Okay, what do you think of you? Uh, uh, Kumichi? Uh, uh, well, uh... Well, you know, she... looks really good. It suits you. You think so? Thanks, Hiki. Damn, my eyes are naturally drawn in her direction. Is this the universal law of gravitation? Leave it to Sarai's new tape. What's this? Apologizing to the river? No. What? You're down here too, Hikigaya? Miss Roska, wow, you do an excellent job of passing for someone in their 30s when you really do. <laughs> I'm still in my 30s, damn it. Oh, so you don't go to Akihabara? No, no, I go to Ikibukuro. Totally different. For one, it's a completely different kind of place. Akihabara is on the right side of the Yamanote line, making it uke. I win. Hey, so, considering your older sister, I believe you can expect good things from those jeans of yours. 
What does my sister have to do with anything? You shouldn't worry about it, Yukino. They're not what makes a girl special. And besides, everyone's different, so don't listen to him. I've got your back. Right. Thanks, I guess. Sister? My jeans? Special? I'm different? <gasps> Whatever, it's not like any of that superficial stuff bothers me. If certain outward characteristics determine a person's worth, in my opinion, that should all be relative. The overall balance should be considered, not just... Yuki Noshida, there's no need for you to give up just yet. <laughs> I wish I was out there splashing Saika. Hey. Why are you sitting alone? I didn't know to bring my swimsuit. And you? We apparently have free time today. When I went back to my room after breakfast, there was no one around. Hmm. Hey, Rumi, you want to come hang out in the water with us? Okay. I have a question for you. Ask away. Do you have any friends you knew in grade school? I don't. And I don't really think anyone does. It's fine to let them be. Once they graduate, you'll never see them again. Huh? That's just you, Hiki. I haven't seen mine since then. You know, Rumi, these two are a couple of special cases. And tell me what's wrong with that. All it means is we're special. It makes us sound superior. Here it only means weird. Yuigahama. Huh? How many of your old friends from grade school do you still hang out with? Uh, hmm. Let's see, maybe one or two. And how many kids were in your grade? About 30 kids in three classes. Okay, then. So that means the percentage that remained your friends five years after your graduation is only three to six percent. See there? Even a beauty who's friends with everyone has a low percentage. I'm a beauty? Marikahama, <laughs> that wasn't exactly a compliment. Look here. Most people aren't really friends with everyone, usually just a few. Split Yui's percentage by a generous 25 percent, and you barely have one percent. No more than a typical margin of error. It doesn't even count. You know the saying, rounding up only helps five and hurts four? Yes, but it might help to make things easier if you think 1% is enough. Being friends with everyone can be tiring after all. But my mom doesn't think that way. She always asks me if I'm getting along well with my friends. She even told me to take lots of pictures at camp with this new camera she gave me. I see. And so I feel like an insect that's beneath everyone when they're busy ignoring me. I know it kind of sucks. I feel pathetic. But that's how it is. So there's no changing it now. Why's that? I turned my back on them. So we can't continue being friends. Even if I could, things might end up like this again at any moment. So, I should leave things as they are. So that's it. She's given up completely. It's said that if you change, the world changes with you. But that's not true. When people judge others, it's with prejudice and existing impressions. People who are alone are pressured to stay alone. If they work hard to stand out, others only use that to hurt them. It's lousy, but that's how kids operate. You don't want to feel pathetic? No. Hope you have fun with the test of courage. Huh? Uh, uh. Kiki, what's up? Kiki? Question. The world does not change. One can change oneself. How, then, does one change? Answer. Become the god of a new world. Uh, she said we're to be monsters for the test of courage, right? What's with these cheap-looking costumes? Oh, God! Soar up in heaven! I beg you to send down your bridge to That's me! That's needlessly realistic. I traditional Japanese folklore stuff, too! Daoman! Seiman! Do you think wizards can be counted as monsters? I mean, I guess, in a broad sense. But this isn't scary. Oh, don't you worry about that. You're scary. Seriously scary. I'm scared I'm going to end up going straight down the Totska route. Hey, big brother, look at me! Mm. Ta-da! What are you? <laughs> that monster? I think. I'm not totally sure, but it's super cute, so I figured I'd just go with it. <laughs> Why are you inspecting it? It looks really good on you. Yay! Thank you, Yukino! Well, you look ridiculously good in a kimono, just like the Yukiana. And you look really good as a zombie there. Very realistic. Those dead eyes of yours are worthy of Hollywood. I'm not in makeup uh, and I haven't changed yet, uh, thank you. 
So you're looking awfully busy over there. Uh, oh, hey, Kiki. Do I look okay? Scary? So if it looked the slightest bit terrible on you, I'd tell you. In fact, I was even prepared to make fun of you, too. And now I'm not even able to do that. Huh? Um, so... Oh! You can just give me an honest compliment, jerk! <laughs> My big brother is such a weirdo. I was just trying to pay you a compliment. So what should we do about the problem at hand? I think Rumi might just have to go and talk to the others. I honestly think they'll just keep giving her a hard time if she does that. What if she talks to them individually? It'll be the same. Even if they're nice to her face, they'll start doing it behind her back again. You need to know that girls are scarier than you think, Hayato. Seriously? Talk about scary. Hey, hmm. I have an idea that just might work. So that means probably not much of one. Just hear me out. We're going to be running a test of courage, so we've got to use it to our advantage. Use it how, though? If you've got problems with human relationships, if you destroy the relationships themselves, the problems are gone. Nobody will fight or argue if they're out there all alone. Uh, okay, so you guys get to go next! Uh, so you need to go out and find the talisman at the shrine deep in these scary woods. Just me. Huh? Oh, hey, it's you. Your eyes looked so dead, I thought you were a ghost. Is that so, huh? So, how's the plan going? That's the starting signal. Okay, at last, it's finally your turn now! actually your friends or anything, so you can't talk to us that way. Uh, now, didn't one of you just totally make fun of us? Who's responsible? We're really sorry. I <laughs> asked you who said it, didn't I? Are you looking down on us, little girls? I say we take them out now. I mean, isn't it our job to teach these entitled brats manners after all? Hey, Hayama, would you mind terribly if I took these brats out? How about this? Half of you are free to leave now. However, the other half are gonna stay right here. You can decide amongst yourselves who's gonna stay. We're so sorry! I didn't ask you to apologize. I said half of you will stay here. So choose. Well, did you not hear, Hayama? Are you gonna pretend he didn't ask you a question? Then I guess you better make it quick. So are you gonna stay? Tsurumi, you stay behind. Yeah, stay. What happens next is what you're after, right? Yeah. We start to destroy the relationships around Rumi Tsurumi. When humans feel truly scared, they can't think about anyone else. They try to save themselves, even if it means sacrificing someone else. Once that ugly truth is exposed, they can't be friends again. We just have to break up their little group in a certain way. But you don't think that's really going to solve the actual problem, do you? No, I don't, but it should cancel it out, right? Only strong people think it's bad to run away from things. It's not always your own fault, though. The world, our society, people around us. There are plenty of times when someone else is to blame. Saying, I can change myself, is just admitting defeat. It's only done so one can adapt to this cold, cruel world and become its slave. That phrase is no more than a pretty way to dress up the fact that you're deceiving yourself. So that's how you think about things. I think I'm beginning to understand why she worries about you so much. She... Okay, let's go with that. But I'm betting on the possibility that they'll all band together to solve it themselves. I think they're good kids at heart. Okay. We need two more. Make it quick. <laughs> 
It was Yuka that said those bad things. Oh, it's her fault. Yuka started it. I did not! Katomi started it! I didn't say anything! It's not my fault! Mori's attitude was the problem! What? You always do that, even to our teacher! Oh, that has absolutely nothing to do with this! Everyone, stop! Let's apologize so we can move on! What I hate the most are girls who think they can cry their way out of a situation. <laughs> we'll give you 30 seconds to choose the other two. And you know it'll happen if you tattle. I'll remember who all of you are. You're down to 20 seconds. I think Yuka should stay. I agree, Yuka, you stay. I'm with them too. <gasps> go on, go! Hey, don't push me, Yuka! No. Oh, I'm sorry, but we have no choice. <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> 10, 9, 8. Now, all we have to do is jump out and say gotcha. Wait! Why'd you do that? Is that... Huh? Four, three, two, one. Hey! Hmm? Uh, this way! Uh, hey! My eyes! What the hell was that? Was that a camera flash? Wait a minute, does that mean Rumi actually saved all of them? I suppose deep down they were friends after all. If you're not able to get along without putting someone else down in the process, it can't be real friendship. You're right. I guess it can't. But then, if she knew it was fake and still wanted to reach out to them, then I guess her friendship must be real. That was a dangerous bridge you crossed. One misstep, and there could have been a big problem here. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm not accusing you. In fact, I think you did well for the short time you had. Even though my methods were pretty terrible? True, you kinda are a pretty terrible person. I was talking about my methods here. Why must you feel the need to criticize me? Well, you're terrible for coming up with a method like that. But maybe it's because you're so terrible that you can get close to people who have hit rock bottom. It's a good trait to have. Well, that was a lousy compliment. Thank you for you, I see. Hmm? Well, it's not like I really did anything good tonight. Getting rid of that click will make her life much easier. They won't be able to gang up on her. Regardless of your horrible method, it seems your plan actually worked. Shocker. So, even if nobody thanks you for it, I think it's alright if something good happens from this whole experience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry for the wait! Here, <laughs> Big Brother! <laughs> you can unlock Hey, watch it with those things. Yay! <laughs> Sorry I made you play such a rough part out there. I actually didn't mind. In fact, I don't really feel bad about it. Except... It made me remember something from a while ago. When I saw something similar happening and didn't do anything about it. What do you think it would have been like if we'd gone to the same grade school? Well, I'm guessing your school would have just had one more lonely kid. <laughs> Personally, I think a lot of things would have ended up differently. But still, I don't think we could have actually been friends way back then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Camp isn't over until you're home safe. Be careful on your way back. Okay, dismissed. Komachi, let's do some shopping on the way home. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, Yukino, why don't you come with us? Hey! What's up, little sis? What the...? You've been away from home far too long, Yukino. I was worried about you, so I came to get you myself. Oh, hey, it's Hikigaya! Was this a date? Oh, I bet it was. I He's told you we're not like that! Hey, you're making Hiki uncomfortable! Wait, are you Hikigaya's girlfriend? No, no way! I'm his classmate, Yui Yui Gahama! Classmate? Yep. 
Oh, thank goodness! I was starting to think of what I should do if you were getting a Yukino's way. You better not lay a hand on Hikigaya. He belongs only to Yukino. No, I do not. See? They're in perfect sync. Haruno, don't you think that's enough now? Good to see you, Shizu. I've told you not to call me that. Teacher, you know Haruno? She used to be my student. So you mean... Well, Yukino, let's get going. You know Mom is waiting for us. <sighs> Sorry, I must decline your invitation. I can't go with you. A what? Okay. Goodbye. <sighs> hey, I'll see you later, Hikigaya! Suzuki, we can go now. Uh, who knows? Big fancy black cars all look the same to someone like me. I was too focused on the pain. Plus, I can't be bothered to remember every car that I see. I said that even though I knew better. The truth is, I recognized it the moment I saw it. I didn't get to see Yukino Yukinoshida again for the rest of summer break.
Two months isn't nearly long enough. There's no way break's over. I must be counting wrong. This phone nearly enough to break it. Woo, woo. I guess that means you're the one who's broken. Oh, maybe it's Yui coming! <laughs> Thanks so much. He wasn't any trouble, was he? Not at all. We had a ton of fun. He was no bother. You and Sable should come over again sometime, okay? Thanks, Komachi. I'd love to come back and hang out. That'd be great. Come when our parents are here. You can bring some sweets and introduce yourself. Sure, I can do that. I should come and meet your... What? Uh, actually, thanks for the invite. I think I'll just pass on that. Anyways, please come and visit us again, okay? I'll be waiting for you guys. Okay, thanks again. See ya. Fireworks show? Would you want to go? Consider it my way of thanking you for watching Sable today. There's a fireworks show? Are you talking about the big one that's coming up? Mm-hmm. You heard her, Komachi. We should go. Uh, I swear this is why you're the worst at life. Ah, I'm so happy you invited me to join you for the show. But I'm supposed to be studying for my entrance exams. So as much as you want to thank me, now might not be the best time. Oh, right. I forgot about those. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hold on! Huh? You know, there are a few things I've been dying to go out and get. But I just don't have time to go by myself. What can I do? And there are so many things on my list that I don't think you can carry them all by yourself. Uh, yes, that's it! Hiki! Let's go so I can buy what's on Komachi's list and thank her properly. And as I think about it, she's done a lot for you as well. Oh, I... Uh, uh, well... Boy, I sure would be worried if you had to go to the fireworks show alone. It's really such a dangerous world out there these days. Oh, if only we knew a guy with some time on his hands, you know? It's no big deal at all. So, um, that you could just nice. Oh, thanks, Hiki. Anyways, ready to go? Yeah. So, so the, the fireworks, fireworks show, show, huh? <laughs> understand why we didn't meet at the venue. There are just so many people there, I'd figured it'd be hard to find each other. You have a cell phone. Sometimes it doesn't connect well. Besides, there's just no spice in us meeting at the venue. What the hell do you need spice for? We're not seasoning seaweed. What the heck does it matter? You got a problem here? No, I don't. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm, well, it is crowded. That was dangerous. If I were a normal male, I would have fallen in love with her right there. Trying to find meaning in simple coincidences and ordinary happenings is something unpopular guys do way too often. I don't believe in fate, destiny, or chance. So, the fireworks are starting at 7.30, right? Looks like we've got time to kill. Should we just go home? We're not going home! How the heck can you say that with such a straight face? Anyways, Komachi emailed me that list of stuff she wants. 
Let's see, I've got it here. What's with that last one? God, she's so embarrassing. Okay, how about if we just walk around then? Sure. Then what do you think we should get first? We should probably start with one that'll still be okay at room temperature, which definitely uh, means the cotton candy. Oh, what's that? <laughs> wow, look at all this. There's expensive stuff in here. Yeah, you can't win those, though. Take it from me, I know. What? But the strings are attached to them. Ah, what do you know? You're right, they are. But who knows what the other end is attached to? Wow, I remember this stuff. Look, it's Yui! Huh? Hi! Hey, Sagamin! Excuse me, wow, I'll take one of these. Oh, hey! It's been so long since I've seen you. I know, it Times feels like, like ages. It's best to lay low and blend into the background. Remember my part as a tree in the grade school play. Put on my glass mask. So, are you here with someone? Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm here with Hikigaya. He's from our class. Meet Sagami Minami. She's from our class as well, Hiki. Huh. Oh, wow, look at you. So you two came here together? I'm just here seeing the fireworks with a bunch of girlfriends tonight. You're so lucky. I want to dive into uh, a youthful you're romance. You're making it sound like you're watching a swim meet or something. Seriously, I promise you, we're not like that. We're just school well, friends. Wow, things just got awkward. No, Looks really like I've become the subject of this impromptu ladies' gossip session. As the man who brought the girl, you become a possible alpha male. For example, if I had been high am I, their reactions would have been completely different. Yui Gahama would be the one called for tonight's hero interview. However, I'm the kind of guy who would be judged by default at a court martial. Yui, I'm gonna run. There's a line for yakisoba, so I'm gonna get in it. Oh, I'll be right there. Okay, here you go. Be careful, young man, it's very hot. <laughs> Sorry. Candy apple. Huh? You wanted one, right? Oh yeah, you're right. I totally want one. Hey, I'll give you half of mine if you want. No thanks. where there aren't as many people around, but it's still pretty crowded here. If I'd have known it would have been this crowded here, I would have brought along a blanket or something like that so we could sit down. Why'd you stop? I'm surprised, Hiki. You can be thoughtful. Huh? Don't be such a moron. I'm super thoughtful. Let me tell you something. I hang quietly in corners, not bothering anyone because I'm so thoughtful. <laughs> That's not what I meant at all. Well, what I really mean is... I suppose you're actually nice. Wow, so I see you've noticed. That's right, I am quite nice considering all the things that happened to me. But I've been able to carry on without taking revenge on anyone for anything. You see, if I were just a normal person, the world would have ended long ago, so really, I'm a bit of a savior in a way. Normal people don't have that much stuff happen to them. Wow. <laughs> This is a paid admission area. Hey there! Over here, Hikigaya! Uh. <laughs> I'm just here representing my father, and I got bored just saying hello to people. I'm so glad you came out as well, Hikigaya. Uh, yeah. 
They call this the VIP area. Most people can't get in here. So you're famous? Sure. It's because of my father. His work has a lot of influence at these local events. But that's not important. Cheating isn't very nice, you know. Yeah, I'm not out here cheating. Is this serious, then? Well, that's even more unforgivable, <laughs> oh, Let go, let go! Oh. Listen, it's not serious, okay? Uh, it's not... your, um... Oh, I know, you're something Gahama, right? It's Yui Gahama. Oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> Yukinon isn't with you today. Why is that? Oh, you know, Yukino, she'd just rather stay at home. As the older sister, it's my job to attend these events. It's been our mother's policy forever. Our mother can be really tough and scary, so I don't say no. Huh? More so than Yukino should have? What? You think Yukino is scary? <laughs> That's rude, Hikigaya! You really feel that way about such a cute girl? Our mother is much scarier than me. Is she actually even human? <laughs> she makes all the decisions and then tries to force everyone to follow. All I can do is compromise with her. But Yukino isn't good at that kind of thing. So, you guys were out on a date, huh? I'm really sorry if I interrupted. No, don't worry. You didn't at all. It's not like that. That shy reaction makes me suspicious here. And so, if this really was a date tonight, I'm afraid Yukino has lost her chance to be chosen. Tell me, Yukino Shira. Hmm? If you're actually referring to me, call me Haruno. Actually, Big Sister works too. Yes, call me that. <laughs> so tell me, Yukino Shira. You really are a stubborn one, which is what makes you cute. You graduated from our high school not too long ago, isn't that right? Yep. I'm three years older, so it was before you guys got there. And now I'm attending the Science University right here in town. Wow, that's so cool. You and Yukino are following the same career path. Yes, Yukino wants to go study science at a public school. Things haven't really changed at all. Always matching, always hand-me-downs. So, um, not to be nosy, but do you feel that you hate Yukinon? Oh my goodness! Of course I don't! That's absurd! I love Yukino. I could never hate her. There's just no way I wouldn't adore my little sister who's always chased after me her whole life. But I want to hear what you have to say, Yui Gahama. Do you like Yukino? I do, actually. She's so amazing and honest, cool and reliable. Sometimes she does these really silly things, but they're cute. I don't always understand her, but she's very kind. And... <laughs> I'm really going way overboard, aren't I? Sorry. No! I'm so glad to hear that. Everyone says things like that about her at first. But in the end, people always wind up jealous of her and reject her. It hurts every time. I really hope it's different this time. That's terrible. I'd never do that. Oh. <laughs> and what about you, Hiki? You like my little sister, right? Actually, my mom taught me not to be picky about food or people. <laughs> well, that's it. The fireworks are over. I'm heading home now to beat the crowd. Do you think we should head out too? Sure, I guess so. I can give you guys a ride if you want. Uh, well, uh... No matter how much you stare, there aren't any scratches left or anything. Uh, oh, I'm guessing Yukino didn't tell you? Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have said that. So, it really was the... But please, don't go and get the wrong idea. It honestly wasn't Yukino's fault at all. She was just a passenger on her way to school. She wasn't doing anything wrong when it happened. So it's okay now, right, Hikigaya? Uh, yep, that's right. There's no way that she could have possibly caused that crash. I have no doubt she's innocent. Besides, it's all over now. I really try not to dwell on the past too much. Plus, my life would be pretty dark if I sat and dwelled on every bad thing. So, I'm over it. That's great. If it's over, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Well, we're gonna head on home now. 
I'll see you guys later. Did tell you anything? No, she said nothing. Oh. <sighs> was it okay for you to get off here? Wouldn't have felt right if that's where our conversation was cut off. It felt kind of intentional. What sort of timing what? is that? Of course it wasn't intentional. I just didn't know how to bring it up. I'll walk you part way. Thank you. So did she say anything to you? But I think there are some things you don't know how to say. And if you miss your chance, it's hard to get back. I'm having the same problem. I think it'd be better to just stay in the dark. You know, we shouldn't bring up stuff that Yuki knows she doesn't want to talk about. Do you really think it is better to not know? To be honest, I don't think not knowing is such a bad thing. I feel like the more you know, the more trouble tends to end up at your feet. I know, but for me, I just want to know more. I just wish I knew you better. I really want us all to be closer. If something's wrong, I want us to help each other. Kiki, if Yukinon is ever in trouble, will you please help her out? Doubt it. I don't think that'll ever happen. Yukinoshina would neither get into trouble nor ask for help. And I wouldn't butt in either. I'm sure you would help her. Sorry, you don't actually know that. Not true. You helped me out when I needed it, didn't you? I already told you. I didn't help you out knowing it was you, okay? It just happened that way. Don't expect it. Even without the accident. I think you would have still helped me out. And I believe we would have gone to see the fireworks just like this. Yeah, I doubt that. I mean, what would I even help you with? Oh. Remember what you said? Even without the accident, you'd still have been alone? And you know how I am, so... I still would have been brought to the service club with my problems. And I still would have met you. And I'm pretty sure... You would have come up with one of your stupid, bizarre solutions and saved me. At least I like to think that. And then I... Well, then I... I mean, I'm pretty sure that I'd... What I mean is... Maybe you better answer that. <laughs> it's just my mom checking on me. Hi, Mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm close to home. Yeah. <sighs> what? You don't have to. I'll be home soon. Bye. <sighs> uh, my house is close, so I'll be fine from here. Thanks for walking me, though. See you later. You sure? Yeah. I had a great time tonight. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. I hear you ran into my sister. Yeah, by chance. Uh, so, uh, um, are we starting the club back up today? Y yes, at least that was the plan. Got it. See you later then. I like myself, and have never once felt the need to hate myself. My high grades, my half-decent looks, my pessimistic, realistic point of view, I don't hate any of it at all. But for the first time, I think I could hate myself. The Yukino I've seen all this time was always beautiful, so pure, and never told a lie. She could stand on her own feet even with nobody to lean on. 
I'm pretty sure I've always admired her for those attributes. I forced my own expectations and ideals on her. Let myself think I understood her. Then let myself be disappointed. I'd even cautioned myself against this, but I still haven't gotten over it. Even Yukino can tell lies. I couldn't even accept such an obvious fact, and for that, I hate myself. It's really picking up out there. Yeah. Sure is, huh? Are you confused about something here? Since it's time for you to get to your next class, and everyone was dragging their feet on selecting committee members, I just moved it along and picked you. It's your own fault for sleeping so soundly through your long homeroom period. Yeah, but that's because, uh... Move along. Can't start class with you up here. You need to choose the rest after school. So, who wants to be the female representative? Show of hands? Oh, I'm so upset that I... If this isn't decided, we'll use rock, paper, scissors. What? Uh. Is there a lot of hard work involved? It's not usually a lot of hard work if you do it right, but the female representative might have it a bit tougher this time around. Sorry, I'm the male rep, Four Eyes. Hmm. Honestly, it would be a big help if you decided to do it. You're popular, huh? after all. I think you'd be perfect. Thanks for the compliment, but I'm not really all hey, that. Hey, Yui, I think you should do it. Sounds like a nice time to me. Two good friends planning such an event together sounds so fun. <laughs> uh, I already told you it's not like that. Well, actually, Yui's supposed to flag down customers with me, so she can't be our rep. Oh, isn't that convenient? Flagging down customers is important, too. That's right. Flagging down customers is important. Wait, I'm flagging down customers? So, uh... What you're saying is you want someone that's popular, but also has good leadership skills, is that correct? I think Sagami should do it then. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think Sagami would do a good job. What? No way! Me, I don't think I could do it. Hey now, you might fool them, but you can't fool this first-rate refusal appraiser. When a girl turns down something for real, her eyes look colder, and she's practically expressionless. Seriously? Not in this lifetime. That's what they say. They're so scary. You think your heart will freeze solid, and you just want to die. Pretty please, could you do it for us? Ugh. Well, if nobody else wants to take the role, then I guess I have to do it. But really, you guys, me? The Cultural Festival Planning Committee is now called to its first session. <laughs> My name is Miguri Shiro Miguri, and I'm your current student council president. Okay, so let's get right to work by first electing our committee chairman. Does anyone want to run for the position? Uh, um, you're Yuki Noshita, aren't you? Yes. I knew it! You're Haru's sister, aren't you? She was the planning committee chairman, too! That festival was so great it went down in history as one of the best ever! As Haru's sister, I bet you'd be just as good as she I'll was, right? I'll do my right? best as a committee member, thank you. Uh... Oh. Uh... Oh. Uh... If no one really wants to do it, I could take on the chairman's position. Really? You're, uh... Minami Sagami from Class 2F. I don't know just yet if I'll be any good at being a leader, but... I am kind of interested in that sort of thing. I guess what I'm saying is I'd like to use the cultural festival as an opportunity to grow. That's great. And why do we get the pleasure of having to help you grow? So, if we have no other candidates, are we okay with Sagami? 
I just ended up becoming the committee You're chairman. You're fine. Don't worry, Sagami. I know you can do it. And we'll help. That's right, we will. Thanks, guys. So I think I might have said some really embarrassing stuff. Oh, no way. You are great. Huh? <laughs> you know, I was a little surprised to hear you were on the committee team. Well, I suppose I can see why. I would actually find it way more surprising if you were the one who joined the planning committee, Yui. That'd be totally out of character, right? Hey, what about me? I was half forced into it. I see. So doesn't the committee meet every day? I guess that means I'll probably have to start helping with the class projects from now on. Yeah, I won't be able to come to club for a while either. This is perfect timing. So I've been thinking, and wanted us to discuss this issue today. In my opinion, we should suspend club activities until the cultural festival is over. That makes sense to me. Yeah, I guess. After all, you should focus on the cultural festival until it's over. Well then, I suppose we're done for today. Okay. We're sorry to interrupt you. Miss Horatska told me before we came, but I didn't know you guys were in this service club. What a surprise this is! <laughs> Do you need something? Mm -hmm. As you know, I took on the role of planning committee chairman. The problem is I'm not very confident. So I would like your help to improve. Your goal of personal growth. Uh, I believe that your request for confidence building somewhat deviates from your goal. You're right about that. But I think the worst thing to do would be to cause problems for everyone else. I don't want to mess up, you know? Besides, I think that working with someone to achieve something is considered growth, too. So, to summarize, you're asking me to help you. Is that right? <laughs> that's it! Oh? Then that sounds good to me. Since I'm on the planning committee as well, I'll provide whatever help I can within that realm. Wow, you will? Huh? Thank you so much! All right! <laughs> I thought we were halting service club. This is something I'm doing personally. It's not something you two need to worry about. But usually... This is how I do things. Besides... I have a fair understanding of the Cultural Festival Planning Committee. It would just be more efficient for me to do this on my own. Efficient, huh? <laughs> well, I don't feel good about this at all! What's wrong with you now? I don't know! It's just, something feels off about this. It's Yukonon. She usually isn't like that. I guess you could be right. Same goes for you. Mm. To be honest, I don't really feel comfortable with what Sagami is doing either. And then with Yukonon agreeing to her request and trying to be nice to her, I think I might actually like Yukonon a whole lot more than I thought. Wow, I did not know that you were a member of that team. No, I didn't mean it that way. You promised, remember? You said you'd help Yukonon if there's trouble. Well, I will if I can. You will? I already feel better. I'm not sure I like being trusted so unconditionally. Okay, I'm gonna head off to class now. Good luck with everything. Let's begin the meeting, everyone. Publicity, why don't you start us all off with your report? For the posters announcing the festival, I'd say we're halfway done. Oh, really? Sounds like it's going well. No, that's a bit slow. Uh -huh. Huh? Do you know where you're going to hang them? What about the festival homepage? Have you updated that? Uh, not yet. 
Okay, well, please hurry. The posters can wait. However, prospective students and their parents check the school homepage regularly, so it's important that it reflects current activities. Uh, okay. Sagami, moving on. Uh, oh, okay then, volunteer coordinator, go ahead. Yes, uh, we currently have 10 volunteer groups participating. Wow, it's gone up. Must be the regional award. Okay, next Is that within the uh, school only? Have you approached any locals yet? As long as we're emphasizing our connection with local residents, we must avoid a decline in their participation. And please remember, submit a timetable, summarizing the allotment of stage time, as well as staff assignments at the time of the opening. Wow, you're so amazing! Just what I expected from Haru, sister! She sounds like a chairman. I uh, know. Don't confuse me with her. I think she should just do it all. Okay, up next is general records. Be sure to submit the festival day schedule, as well as any equipment requests. What the hell? Need an explanation? <laughs> Can't do it. What? Listen, if there was a Hayama and Hachiman manga, it'd be a must buy. In fact, it's a must gay. What the hell is she talking about? The scene opens with the prince making a move on the sulky pilot with his warm, innocent words. Soon. Isn't that the whole appeal of this story? It's not that kind of story. You're gonna piss off the French. Well, I'm on the planning committee. He's right. You need rehearsals and stuff to put on a musical. This really doesn't seem very realistic. Oh yeah, that's too bad. Hey, how about this? Maybe just take the whole thing and reconsider the story. Like, who is the prince? So that was really his goal. <laughs> <laughs> Side. What do you mean? I thought you were the planning committee's chairman. Then who is the chairman? Sorry I'm late! I stopped in to check on my class and got delayed a bit. Haruno, this is our current chairman. Oh, hi, I'm Sagami. Hmm. The festival planning committee chairman was late because she was checking on her class. Hmm? Uh, I was. I think that is exactly how the chairman should be. Someone who can really enjoy the uh, cultural <gasps> festival to the fullest is best qualified to be the chairman. Uh, thank you for saying that. Sure. So I have a favor to ask of you, chairman. Uh, I really want to participate as a festival volunteer. But Yukino brushed me off. Mm. That'd be great. We're actually short on volunteers. Yay! Thanks so much. So, does this take care of connecting with the locals? Oh, hey! It's Hikigaya! Yeah, hello there! Well, I'm a little surprised. I didn't think you were the type to join stuff like this. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I thought too. But speaking of surprises, wouldn't you say the same thing might apply to your sister? No, I expect her to do this sort of thing. I mean, it must be hard for her to hang around the club since I was the planning committee chairman back in the day. She has plenty of reasons for wanting to be a part of this. Hey, everyone! Can I have your attention? So I've been giving this a lot of thought. I believe a planning committee should also be about enjoying the festival. Like, we can't make other people have fun if we're not having fun ourselves, right? <laughs> I think we're making good progress with our plans and doing a good job keeping up in our classes. With that, I think we should slow down our work pace just a bit. Sagami, I don't think you're looking at this the right way. We should be working ahead so we'll have a buffer. <sighs> yeah, everyone worked too hard on their parts back when I was the chairman as well. Yukino Shina, I don't know what happened between you and your sister, but shouldn't we learn from those who came before us? You should put your own feelings aside and consider everyone else. Whoa! You sure seem to know what to say, right? Two, please. <sighs> Seems Sagami's suggestion was wrong. I'm thinking I probably should have turned it down. Sorry about this. We're just going to have to share the work amongst everyone or we won't finish in time. Excuse me. I'm here to submit a volunteer application. Applications go in the back. Okay, thanks. Hmm? Do you have enough help here? I'm not exactly sure where things stand overall. We already have our hands full just managing our own posts. What do you mean your posts? My posts are general records. Oh, makes sense. Are you trying to pick a fight? But from what I can see here, it looks like Yuki Noshida is doing most of the work. It's just more efficient this way. Yeah, but you're about to fall apart. You should really rely on others before it comes to that. I want to help. I can handle the volunteer coordination. Just call me the volunteer representative. Sound good? He's actually right, you know. You've got to be able to rely on others sometimes. At times like this, even Haru would... Neither Hayama nor Megari are incorrect, but they're also not entirely correct in this situation. They're great. I move. What heartwarming camaraderie. But, is doing things alone really a bad thing? Collaboration isn't a guarantee, so why should someone who's always worked hard on their own be denied? I can't allow that to happen here. Maybe relying on others is important, but relying on others is all you people ever want to do around here. Well, more specifically, I was talking about me, okay? I mean, like, people who come and just feel they can dump all their work on me. I don't get to relax, and I know that can't be helped. Therefore, I don't think it'd be fair to let anyone else here take it easy either. Okay, then. You're really terrible. Hey, I can help you too. It does look like a lot of the record keeping has shifted to you. I'll rethink the workload allocations. As for relying on the help of others, Shiro Meguri has made her thoughts clear. I'll gratefully accept it. I'm sorry, everyone. Great! We're almost there! Push hard and do our best! class just now? Yeah, I was. Sagami? Huh? These need your approval. I've already gone through them all and corrected the errors. Okay, thanks. Actually, I'll just give you my seals so you can stamp them. 
I want to delegate this to you. Here. Okay. No problem. I'll go ahead and do all the approving from now on. The day goes by so fast when you're having so much fun! Thanks for your hard work, everyone! Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you everyone. everyone! Goodbye! Bye. Yoshida is out. She called him sick today. They start out by being little baobabs. Yes, but why would you want your sheep to eat little baobabs? Oh, come on. You know why that is. Stop it! <gasps> you know what the baobab tree symbolizes, don't you? Uh... The young prince needs to look up at him shyly, but with an inviting expression. As if to say, I know I'm inviting you, but I'm going to torment you. One more time, go! Uh, before they grow big, baobabs started out by being small little baobabs. Tell me, why would you ever want your sheep to eat little baobabs? Oh, uh, come on, you know why that is. Come on, boys, do your job. We're doing our job. Are you going to be done in time? You know we've got a lot riding on this musical. Oh, are the costumes done yet? Let me see. Wow, this is fantastic. Look, the stitching is so clean. <gasps> uh, hey, why are you calling me in school? Hey, did you know Yuki Noshida is absent today? Huh? Apparently, she called in sick. No way. Damn. Ignoring us? It'd be okay if she was. But if she's really so sick that she can't answer, then... Yes? <gasps> you cannot? It's me, Yui! Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. So, so what? What's she trying to say so, as in go home? Just let us come in. What are you doing here? Just want to talk. Have a seat. Tell me, what did you want to talk about? Oh, well, uh, when we realized that you were absent today, we were worried about you. You're overreacting. It was just for the day. Maybe so, but you look really tired. You're also looking kind of pale. I have been tired lately, but really, it's no big deal. That is the real problem, isn't it? You don't have to take on everything alone. Yes, I know that. That's why I divided up the work, to try and lighten the load. Obviously, it didn't work. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of mad at you for this. And the same goes for you, Hiki. You said you'd help her if she was in trouble. He's been doing his job in general records quite well, actually. That's enough for me. Yeah, but seriously, Everything will be alright. I've been working at home as well, so we're not falling behind. As you can see, there's nothing you need to worry about. But I don't think that's the right way. It's not? How so? Relying on others. Helping each other out. 
and supporting each other are generally the right things to do when overwhelmed. And? But that's idealistic. Someone will always get the short end of the stick. I have no intention of telling you to rely on anyone, but... The way you're going about this is wrong. So, do you know the right way to do it? I don't, actually. However, I can tell you it'd be way different from what you've been doing lately. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I forgot to serve tea. No, it's okay, actually. Why don't you let me do it? Seriously, don't worry about me. I'll feel better after I get some rest. So all you need is some rest? Sure. Listen, Yukonan. Let me and Hiki help you, okay? Not someone or everyone, just... Know you can rely on us. <laughs> Hiki is... Is Black Tea okay? <sighs> Thanks a lot, Yukonan. Well, I'm gonna go now. Huh? Oh, me too! Yuigahama? What is it? I... just can't accept your help right now. But I promise someday that I'll ask for it. I swear it. So thank you. You can none? I want to think about things a little longer. Yuigahama, she's all yours. Huh? Hey, no, wait! Saying that if you change, the world changes with you is a lie. It's just a convenient lie forced on you, just to make you compromise. I'll show them how you change the world. For real. Wow, that's amazing! Oh. Uh, Sagami, everyone is here. Oh, okay. Are you ready to start? Huh? Uh, the meeting has now begun, everyone. As our president has stated, deciding the school slogan for the festival is at the top of our agenda today. That's all wrong. Oh, hell no. Ugh, I know who's writing this garbage. Oh, slogans like that are pretty cool. One for all and all of that. I like that kind of thing. It's nice. <laughs> well, I guess that's easy to see, huh? Huh? You make one person carry the burden, and then you exclude them. Hooray for one for all. People do it all the time. Hikigaya, what are you? All right, everyone. This last one comes from us. Uh... Uh... Hmm? What's the problem? Is something wrong with it? Not particularly. But you do have something you want to say about it. Nope, I really don't. Well, fine. Feel free to offer up your own, then. Okay, I will. People, look close and you'll realize one side is getting off easy. How's that? that the kanji for people reflects two people that are supporting each other. But have you ever noticed one side is leaning? I believe that the acceptance of sacrificing someone is really the idea behind people. That's why I think my slogan is perfect for this festival and this committee. What exactly do you mean by sacrifice, Hikigaya? I'm totally the sacrifice here. I mean, I'm forced to do stupid amounts of work. Hell, even other people's work is dumped onto me. Or maybe that's what the chairman meant the other day. Is that what helping each other out looks like? I've never had anyone help me back, so I wouldn't know. 
slogan is denied. <laughs> Sagami, let's dismiss for today. We're not getting any good suggestions anyway. But we need to it decide. It's foolish of us to waste today's work on this right now. All committee members, come up with some ideas and we'll choose one tomorrow. If all members are able to work every day from now until the festival, we could easily make up for lost time. Sound good? Yes, sounds good to me. Okay, everyone, I'll see all of you here tomorrow. I really appreciate it. This okay? Hmm? It's what okay? It's best if we clear up the misunderstanding. It won't clear up. The solution is already there. That's the end of the problem. You make excuses for things that don't matter. When it's important, you don't make excuses. There's no point in making excuses. Humans tend to make their own judgments when it's important to them. I understand. And you may be right. Excuses are meaningless. Which begs of me to ask the question again. Well, anyway, what was all that? It didn't make any sense. Well, it was better than yours. What are you, a thesaurus? It's infuriating how you never change. Humans don't change that easily. Especially ones who are weird to begin with. That was one phrase too many. <laughs> Watching you makes me think that trying to force myself to change is just a pointless endeavor. Later. Yeah, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. It's decided. This is going to be our festival slogan this year. So, Sagami, we should start incorporating the slogan now. Uh, right. Okay, please incorporate the slogan. <sighs> okay, guys, let's crank out the posters. Vice Chairman, the update of our website is complete. Got it. Sagami, please check it. Huh? Uh, okay. Got it. All right, please transfer it to the live site. Got it. working hard here. As you can see for yourself. Actually, it doesn't look like you're working at all that hard to me. What? I'm working my ass off. I mean, really. It's not like your real contributions will actually be recorded in these minutes. Hey, quiz time! Tell me who it is that actually unites a team above everything else. Let me guess, it's the ruthless leader. Oh, come on now, you know what the answer is. It's the presence of an enemy. Well, except this enemy is pretty tiny. Just lay off. Yeah, but if a baddie like you is pulling his weight, then there's gonna be opposition, right? They can't exactly grow if their enemy isn't doing his job. That's why war is seen as the great advancer of technology. God, she's annoying. Hey, so, did you intentionally make Yuki? You know, smart boys know when to be quiet. <laughs> Get to work and stop goofing off. Draft up the papers required to approve the slogan, then record the minutes, and finally notify all teams of the new slogan via email. Actually, while you're at it, scan in the project proposal form and upload it to the server. By the end of the day, please. Want me to help out? You're in the way. Just go home already. Ouch! You're so cruel, sis. I'll stay anyways. Nothing else to do. If you insist on helping, you can review the budget since it's next on the list. Yes! Now that's how a planning committee should be! Yeah, I am feeling so fulfilled right now! Three minutes to showtime. Three minutes to showtime. Reconnection at hearing. Notice to crew. Hmm? We're proceeding on time. All departments sound off. If there are any problems, report them now. No problems with lighting! PA here. No problems. Backstage here. Cast prep is running slightly behind. But don't worry, they should be ready in time. Roger that. Everyone on standby until queued. Ten seconds. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. 
You're on standby. Next up is our planning committee's chairman to give us the festival's opening remarks. She can't see me. Great. Maybe I chose the wrong person for this. Did you just take another dig at my lack of presence? I didn't say anything like that at all. Anyways, where are you? Out front? That was obviously a dig. I know you can see me right here. Um, Vice Chairman, we can hear you. <laughs> As everyone knows, this year's slogan is Chiba Specialties Dance and Festivals. We're when moving the rest of the schedule up. Like Proceed accordingly. I didn't understand anything. I shouldn't have been deceived by his words. It was just that he smelled so nice, and he was always shining. You couldn't help it. You're still so young. You just didn't know how to love him yet. <sighs> what the hell is this role? Maybe I should have kept the part after all. You mustn't come tonight. Tell me, why not? Didn't I tell you we'd always be together? Yeah. Even the lines from the original work all sound like Yaoi. But seeing me might make you sad. We're always going to be together. There's no way. You just need to give up on me now. I'll never give up. We'll always be together. <laughs> well, she's done for. I guess I should do something. In the end, you decided to choose him over me. But it's all right. I'll see you soon. After all, the muzzle for that sheep I drew has finally been broken. <laughs> sheep. Sheep. Working hard? How did it go? It seems to have gone well. I mean, the audience liked it. Everyone has been working really hard. Yeah, well, I guess. I'm sure they did work hard. I wouldn't know since I wasn't there. You had the committee, so it's not like you'd have been able to check what it out. What the hell? <laughs> Let us in! Ah, uh, looks like trouble there. They're going to lose control over the crowd if those guys keep it up. Everyone, move out! Line up here, please. The end of the line is over here. Is the Class E representative here? She's just so darn cool. She seems to be feeling better. Seems to be. Hey, can I ask you something? Huh? Like what? When we went to Yukinoshitas, did you talk about anything? Huh. Um, nope. Huh? After you left, we got hungry, so we just ended up getting food and eating together. Then we watched some DVDs, and after that, I went on home. So... To answer you, she didn't say anything you'd want to know. Uh, there's nothing I wanted to know. Really? I wanted to know things. See, I've decided I can wait for Yukonan a bit. I think she's trying, at least to get a little closer to us. So then I'll wait. However, I won't wait if there's no point in waiting. Well, I don't think it will do you any good to wait for someone like that. That's not what I mean. Instead of waiting, I'll move first. Oh. Is that right? Yep, that's right. 
Oh, yeah, you haven't had a chance to eat lunch, right? Look, honey toast. It's not really all that uncommon here, is it? Wait, this is really bread, isn't it? Couldn't they have tried a little harder to make it look less like bread? It's obviously bread, totally bread. Yum! <laughs> bread is hard. The honey hasn't soaked all the way through. My mouth tries to stop chewing halfway through. Is this some kind of punishment? Oh my god, this cream is amazing! It'd have to be honey toast. Also, she stole that cream from my piece of toast. I guess it's pretty good. Oh my gosh, I'm so full! So how much do I owe you? Don't you worry about it. No, Yui, I can't let you do that. Don't worry. I'm completely fine with being fed, just not to receive charity. What is up with that stupid pride of yours? <sighs> okay, fine. I guess you can treat me to honey toast next time then, at Pasela. You've already picked out the place? Does that mean it's... Uh... Would it be okay to get something else? Sure! So, um, when do you want to go out? Uh, well... Okay. I need to think long and hard about this. should uh no clue really so why are you out here not in your classroom shouldn't you be i am but a solitary wandering soul i have no desire for a place to belong wow aren't you cool what are you really doing i'm working what my own big brother working that makes me so very happy the way i admit it's a little strange like my brother has left for some far off place i'm not sure how to feel well, actually, I call it work, but in reality, it's like I'm the lowest of the underlings. Well, that I can see. Okay, then I'm gonna go look around now. See ya, bro! Were you working? Yeah, can't you tell by looking? Why do you think I asked you? So what about you? On my way to a meeting before the closing ceremony. Oh man, we've got to hurry or there won't be any seats left. What's that? You'll see soon enough. I have quite a high opinion of my sister. When I was young, I wanted to be just like her. I think you're fine the way you are. Don't change. <gasps> Sagami's missing? She is! We've not been able to reach her on her cell. This is a problem. Without her, we can't hold the closing ceremony. Worst case, we replace her? It's actually more difficult than that. Even if we found someone and managed to get through the closing comments, Sagami is still the only one here who knows the voting results for the Excellency in Regional Awards. Why don't you just make up the results for the award? It's not like the vote counts ever go over well. Hikigaya. We definitely can't do that. Put off the award presentations for another day then? That's the worst case scenario. 
The regional award is kind of pointless if it's not presented here today. Something wrong? Mm -hmm. I see. Hmm. What if we added another song to our performance? Could you really do that? Yeah. Uh... Yumiko, can you play and sing one more song? Are you serious, Hayama? One more? No way, I can't. I'm totally on edge here. Hmm. Pretty please. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Thanks for this. Don't thank me, because I'm not doing it for you. Hmm. The previous act just ended. Come on. For real? Oh, God. This is so wrong. I've posted online in a few different places. If anyone has seen her, they should let me know soon. I appreciate it. <laughs> no worries. Even so, if we take the stage now, we can only stall for ten minutes. Someone needs to find her quick. Yeah. I can go look around for her. You won't find her by looking around randomly. What you need to do is pick one place that you can get to and back within fifteen minutes. Hey, Hikigaya. Do you think if I were able to buy you another ten minutes, could you find her? Don't know. That's all I can tell you now. But you didn't say it was impossible. That's good enough for now. Haruno, I need your help. Wow. Okay, I'm shocked. You know, this is the first time you've actually asked for my help. So I will actually accept your request. Request? Don't go getting the wrong idea here. This is an order as a planning committee member. Oh, and is there a penalty if I defy your order, little sister? It's not like you can actually go and take down my festival display now. But you run and go tell the teacher. <laughs> There's no penalty, but there is a benefit. What kind? The kind that says I will owe you a favor. How you perceive that is entirely up to you. Oh. Well, Yukino, you've certainly grown up. No, you're oh. wrong. I've always been like this. Have you not been watching me all this time? It was obvious. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. Yeah, that's exactly right. This is the kind of person Yukino Yukino Shida is. Well, what do you plan to do? Fill in the gap. <gasps> you sure do come up with some fun ideas. We do have all the members here and all. So. Which song is it? I think I can still play the song I played with you before. Megary? Oh yes! Don't worry about me! Now we just need a vocalist. Yui Gahama. Huh? Will you do us the honor and sing? You'd be great. Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure I can. I might just make things worse. But... I've been waiting for ages for you to ask me. Thanks, Yui. <laughs> to be honest, I only vaguely remember the lyrics. Please don't expect too much. I think the word you're saying is vaguely. That mistake of yours has me a little worried now. What the heck, Yukinan? That was mean of you. Hikigaya. <gasps> Please find her. You can do it, Hiki! One thing someone who's lost their own place really wants is for someone to help them find a new place they can feel safe. She wants to be found, so she's here at school and in a place where she can be seen. Where is she? There's not much time. I need to narrow down my options. It is I! Zaimakuza, where would you usually hang out at school when you want to be alone? What's all this out of the clear blue sky? I'm gonna hang up. Wait, wait, please! The nurse's office or the balcony. I'm in the library a lot, too. Also, the top of the annex tower. Closing ceremony is about to start. Hasn't it started already? Should have, and it normally would have. But they're doing all they possibly can to stall. Oh. And who exactly is doing that? Well, Yura, Yukinoshida, and some others. 
Then why doesn't Yuki Noshida just do it? She might as well just do everything. Huh? That's beside the point, Sagami. As you know, you're the only one that has the voting results, among other things. Uh, fine. Then why don't you just take back the results? The request Yuki Noshida accepted was to have Sagami fulfill the duties of the committee chairman. If I just take back the voting results, I'd be denying all the work that Yuki Noshida has done. What I need to do is get Sagami to take her place on stage as the chairman. Also, I need to give her the glory of the chairman position, along with a healthy dose of frustration and regret. To accomplish that, I only have to tell Sagami exactly what she wants to hear. But, unfortunately, I'm incapable of that. so we got worried. We were asking around for you, and someone had seen you climbing the stairs. Uh-huh. Let's hurry back. Everyone's waiting for you. Okay? Yeah, he's right. Everyone's worried about you. Yeah, but going back now isn't gonna help anything. Don't worry about that. Everyone's waiting. Please, come back with us. No way. I've caused so much trouble for everyone. I can't face them. It's okay. Everyone only wishes the best for you and totally supports you. <sighs> you can know she'd always saw things through her way. So, I'll do this my way. Face it head on, fair and square, in the lowest, nastiest, most servile way I can. It's okay. Let's go. I'm just the worst. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, you are kind of the worst. Sagami, in my opinion, I think you want people to fawn over you. You do this stuff because you want attention. Even now, you just wanted them to say, that's not true. Of course, nobody treated you like the real chairman. What are you saying? You really just wanted to be like Yuki Noshida, didn't you? You wanted to be acknowledged and sought after, like she is. You wanted people to depend on you. So that's why you instantly pushed the title of chairman onto her. You wanted to confirm your superiority by putting the label on someone else and looking down your nose at them. That's what you really meant by growth. I'm pretty sure everyone's noticed. I don't really even know that much about you at all. But geez, even I can see it. You see nothing! Don't talk like we're the same! We are the same. And the best part is, we're seen as the lowest of the low. I mean, just think about it. I have like zero interest in you as a person, yet found you before anyone else did. In other words, does that mean nobody was seriously looking for you then? Uh. You realize it, don't you? That you're nothing more than... <laughs> Hikikaya, just shut up already. Hayama, don't bother. It doesn't matter. He's not worth it. Let's just go, okay? Come on, then. Who was that jerk? Talk about harsh. What a creep. Talking like he knows everything. No right to stay in your life, him. Tell me, how's this your go-to solution?
for the slogan, now this thing with Sagami, somehow your efforts always seem to find a way to play a part in the end. But I don't feel like I can honestly praise you for it. Hikigaya, you know you don't always have to put yourself out there as the enemy in order to help someone else. What's the difference? It's not like any of this really gets to me. Not true. Even if you're used to hurting, it doesn't have to be like this. It's time you opened your eyes and see that there are people around you who hurt when they see that you're hurting. Understand? That's all I have to say. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up? Most hated person in the school. Are you picking a fight with me? What about the after party? You not going? Don't ask questions you already know the answer to. Tell me, how does it feel being genuinely hated? <laughs> Having my presence acknowledged is a good thing, right? I don't know if I should be surprised or disgusted. You're really a strange one, you know. But there is one thing I don't dislike about you. Your awareness of your own weakness. Yeah, I don't really dislike it either. Actually, that's kind of my favorite aspect of myself. So, what are you doing here? I'm just trying to fill out my career plan sheet. I didn't really have time to work on it while we were preparing for the festival. So what's your reason for being here? I need to put my reports together. I wanted to do it in a place that's quiet where I could concentrate. Oh. I guess we think a lot alike, don't we? Well, we don't really have many options. It's just a convergent evolution of loners, but it in no way means you and I are alike. <laughs> nope. She and I aren't the least bit alike. Then again, that could be why our conversations always feel fresh and comfortable. Is that why, though? After repeating the question, the answer I was led to has turned out to be true. So... So are she and I. Hey, Yukinoshira. Mm. Could we- I'm sorry, but that's not happening. <clears throat> Why wouldn't you let me at least finish my thought? Haven't I already told you? It's just impossible for you and I to be friends, okay? Are you serious? I am. I never tell a lie. Well, it doesn't matter to me if you lie. I lie all the time. Who cares if you know something, but say you don't? Forcing something out of someone without permission is worse. I wasn't lying then. I mean, at that point I really didn't know you at all. However, I'm pretty sure I do now though. <laughs> oh, you think so? Yes, I do. <laughs> Yellow! Such a great job with the festival! Let's go to the night after party! Not going. 
What is a night after party anyway? You don't even know when you refused? The night after party is, well, it's, uh, it's kind of like a regular after party, but bigger. Don't you think you should know if you're inviting us? Let's see, judging from the name, it sounds like it would be the opposite of a night before party. <gasps> That's it, yeah. Hayato and his buddies booked a club near the station, said to invite everyone we know. Well, that was nice of them. Well, you should go and join them. He'll look better with ya. Hey, don't sit there and casually say my name wrong. And who are you talking about? Cause it's not Hayama, cause I don't want to make him look good. We don't get to do this often, let's just go! Thanks, but I'll pass. Even if I went, I'd be sitting in a corner the whole time. I feel kind of bad for destroying the festive atmosphere for everyone. He's right. Besides, the night after party isn't sponsored by the planning committee. So I don't see much reason for me to attend. Aww, let's just go! Wait! What are you doing in here anyway? I'm doing reports. Doing my career plan. Oh. Well, then I'll just wait until you're finished. Wait just a minute, Yui. We never said we were gonna go. <laughs> you don't get much of a chance to redo things in life. Even a stupid act like this will eventually be lost. And I sit here and think about how I might actually at that loss one day. It's taking part that counts. These words became famous after the father of the modern Olympics, Baron Pierre Coubertin, used them in a speech. But some say the quote is frequently misused and is used as a coercion tool to force participation. Yet, there are countless situations in society where it's a waste to even show up. If it's taking part that counts, then taking part in the side that doesn't take part should also count, right? If everything can be chalked up to experience, then the experience of experiencing nothing should be worth just as much. The fact is, the simple act of not getting experience could be just as priceless. Jeez, there he goes again. Considering he's so convincing, despite the ridiculous logic he spews, it's really pretty pathetic. Wait a sec. Uh, I'm not to blame here. That's on society. <laughs> now this is what I call real teamwork. <sighs> All right then, let's do this. Hey, 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 yay! Yay! Oh. What do you think we should do about this? Oh, do you mean this? Trans Chiba email counseling. This is the newest aspect of our club's work. I'm looking for ideas to make our athletic festival more exciting. Also, it's my last one, so I want to win. Ah, uh, that time of the year already? God, I seriously hated the competitive class relays. All that unexplained pressure. Yeah, well, I couldn't run very fast, so it was hard for me, too. I forgot. There was always that guy. Any time that a classmate would start to fall behind, the soccer player Nagayama would rage out. Who is that? Why'd you even say his name? Well, I hated that guy. Oh, I'm pretty sure he hated me right back. And also, the girl who didn't want to take the baton. Why would she even say, I can't believe this, when she was the next one after me? So cold. Uh, no, she's just... I believe you know the answer perfectly well, so there's no need to comment. Usually when a girl acts reluctant like that, she probably means it. Well, that sounds like a comment. You should probably look up comment. You know what else happens at athletic festivals? Oh boy, you have more? I do. When you're one person short and you have to do gymnastic formations with the teacher, because you don't even have enough for a fan <laughs> formation. I pity the parents who had to see their kid do that. Huh? No, come in. I've come to the right place for the service club, haven't I? I sent an email earlier about the athletic festival, but I didn't get a reply, so I came in person. Huh? Huh? So this email came from... Yeah, that's probably the one I sent over. I want to make the athletic festival as exciting as the cultural festival. You did such a great job last time. Please help Yuki Noshita and... <laughs> oh, uh... Hikigaya. It's Hikigaya. Oh, yes! Hikigaya! And you're... Uh... Actually, I'm Yui Gahama. He's Hikigaya. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I've gotten so bad at remembering names. 
Oh, don't worry about it. Huh? Pinky Guy is a professional when it comes to not having his name remembered by anyone. I don't want to hear that kind of stuff from you. You're not wrong, but still. Then it's okay, right? You're also good at erasing your own presence. It's like a superpower. No, that isn't true, Hiki! You're in the classroom alone a lot, so you actually do stand out more. Does that even count as a defense? So, uh, Hikigaya? Uh, y yes? Hikigaya, right? Okay, I've got it now. You worked hard on the cultural festival, too. I know I can count on you. Sure. Mm. Just hold on a second. You can definitely forget about that one, so why don't you just tell us more about your request? Oh, that's right! I need help in coming up with the boys and girls featured events at the Athletic Festival. Featured events? Hey. Come to think of it, what were the featured events last year? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I don't remember. Well, you do know they say that people block out memories that are too painful for them. My athletic past is not just some dark moment in time. Besides, if it were that easy to forget, I wouldn't still bear the scars of trauma. <laughs> you know, I actually don't remember last year's either. That's because they're always so dull. I want to do something different with some flair this year. That makes sense. Now I understand why you need us. How soon do you need our ideas? Now that you mention it, we're actually having a committee meeting down the hall and could use your help. Could you join us? Are you talking about right now? Uh, what team are you guys on? Every class in school has been taken and split in half to make up two teams, so I'd like to make sure. I'm on the red team. What about you? I'm red. Me too. Same here. We're all on the same team? Okay, we must get out there and do our best to win this thing. Yay! Uh... Hey, looks like you managed to secure some new members. I did, and it went exactly as you said it would. So you're the one behind this little scheme then, huh? I was getting so bored watching the same athletic festival. It just repeats every year. I'm looking forward to something more fun. You sound like you're playing around. I find it interesting that you're in charge of the athletic festival, too. Ah, uh, yes. These kind of jobs tend to fall to the young teachers around here. And mark my words, kids. I am the young one. Very young. She said it twice to show how important that point is. Okay, Shiramaguri, let's start the meeting. Great! On our agenda today is featured events for the festival. We need to come up with some strong ideas. Raise your hand if you have a suggestion. Over here! Yes! Yuiga Hama! What about doing a club relay race? If you do that, huh? people who aren't members of a club don't get to participate. They'll complain. Uh. Any others? Let's keep them coming! Yes! Yukinoshita! How about a nice orthodox bread eating contest? Huh? I'm afraid the students who prefer rice will complain. I didn't know the bread versus rice debate was so serious. Well, let's just regroup and keep trying. Who's next? Huh. Yes, Yuigahama. Let's do a scavenger hunt. We need to be sensitive to all the students who are suffering under their parents' debts. All we're doing is being sensitive. Everyone's so nitpicky these days. There are so many regulations to uphold. Anyway, let's keep thinking. You guys over there need to be throwing out ideas, too. <laughs> turned into a word association game. Why don't they just use magical something or other? Is that it on ideas? <sighs> They're even more lacking in ideas than I originally thought. No matter what we pick, our ideas are scrapped for insensitivity. It was a bit much to expect us to come up with ideas. What do we do now? We find the right person for the job? Well, that sure is a valuable perspective there, Hikigaya. It's typical for organizations to pull this stuff. Milk people until they're completely dry. But yet, they'll never see a pay raise. Oh, you said it! I totally hear that! Miss Haratsuka, I don't think that you're supposed to agree with that. It's pointless for unfit people to try too hard at something. It's better to call someone who's a pro in the field. In other words, you're saying that the club should go ahead and renounce this request? Work share. That's what I'm talking about. Like a job rotation, you know, outsourcing. Get it? I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds good. I'm just impressed you came up with so many terms that mean the same thing. I guess it's in how you say it. But it's also important that we have faith in this, right, guys? Well, see, there you go, then. Yuigahama. Yeah? Uh. Mm -hmm. 
You got it. I'll go give them a call now. Uh, <laughs> those are our resources. So why'd you call me here, Yui? Ahem, ahem, ahem. Same question as my left? Well, the thing is... I see! The universe! You want us to come up with thrilling events that will go down in history? And they should be exciting, right? It doesn't matter how they're exciting, though, does it? Uh... Okay, no problem! I'll think of something! You can also count on Yoshiturou! <laughs> Thank you guys so much. This is shaping up to be a lot of fun thanks to you guys. Hang on. We have plenty more still left to do. Huh? Don't forget, we're only halfway through the request that you sent us. Oh yeah. While we're at it, we gotta win too. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> between the Satomi and Hojo clans. This magnificent event was created with that battle in mind. That's great, but I think this area was underwater then. Huh? What's with those outfits? Believe me, that's what I want to know as well. This is really embarrassing. Well, it's a battle after all. The captain should always be wearing armor. Right, but we're not actually... Hold still. Huh? These are very special battle costumes that have been produced by me and made all by hand by Saki Saki. Don't call me Saki Saki! Wow, you guys sure get along well. Why are they Western uh, style? Good point. Shouldn't they be more samurai? <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know why? why? This, this is, is what, what we, we like. like. Uh, Alright, huh? let's go take the lead! Yay! We get 30 points if we win this event, right? And if the boys beat their next event, that means we might actually win! Huh? Telling me that doesn't really help me here. Don't worry, we'll keep our promise. Yep. I wouldn't exactly call a one-sided declaration a promise, but whatever. And the horses and riders for both teams have been assembled! The team that knocks down the most riders from the other team wins! Take care of the rest. It's all yours, Hiki. 
That's easy for you to say. And for our next festival event, we have the boys' pole topple. For something Ebina came up with, this one seems pretty normal so far. All oh, those sweaty boys fighting and grappling over a big pole! It's so obscene! Mokuza was it? Using him as a decoy to get this far was a good plan. But really, there's no way I wouldn't have had a mark on you. Don't think too highly of me there. Don't hold it against me. But I'm gonna fight your grandstand play with team play. You know, that's what they call tyranny of the majority. That just sounds evil. It's just numbers based. Hmm. Give up? No way. Zayo Mokuza! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
not gonna fight with numbers, then we're gonna fight you with weight! Decoy for a decoy? We're in trouble! Get him, guys! You won't be able to get past us! Just come and try it if you can! We're gonna get you! someone hadn't done such a lousy alteration on his headband, we'd have won. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't think anyone was watching me. No, people do watch you. She's right. Even I wondered what you were going to do when you took that bandage out of your pocket. Wait, you were watching him too? I just happened to see it. Can you guys please stop watching me? Wait, calm down. McGurry was really happy with the outcome. Still, it's actually quite frustrating to lose an athletics festival. I didn't know that before. Yeah! We'll win next year! You're right. We'll win it next year. You don't know if we'll be on the same team next year. You always say stuff like that. That's true. Hikigaya seems like he'd enjoy being the enemy. You've become more motivated? <laughs> I'm so excited already! The festival after the festival is over. And everything after that is a festival. Some things can't be redone. But whether we laugh or cry, our days carry on, and our high school lives will end. Thus, their festival will never end. to be 
These words became famous after the father of the modern Olympics, Baron Pierre Coubertin, used them in a speech. But some say the quote is frequently misused, and is used as a coercion tool to force participation. Yet, there are countless situations in society where it's a waste to even show up. If it's taking part that counts, then taking part in the side that doesn't take part should also count, right? If everything can be chalked up to experience, then the experience of experiencing nothing should be worth just as much. The fact is, the simple act of not getting experience could be just as priceless. Jeez, there he goes again. Considering he's so convincing despite the ridiculous logic he spews, it's really pretty pathetic. Wait a sec. I'm not to blame here. That's on society. <laughs> now this is what I call real teamwork. <laughs> All right then, let's do this. Hey, 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 yay! Yay! What do you think we should do about this? Ooh, do you mean this? Trans Chiba email counseling. This is the newest aspect of our club's work. I'm looking for ideas to make our athletic festival more exciting. Also, it's my last one, so I want to win. Ah, uh, that time of the year already? God, I seriously hated the competitive class relays. All that unexplained pressure. Yeah, well, I couldn't run very fast, so it was hard for me too. I forgot, there was always that guy. Any time that a classmate would start to fall behind, the soccer player Nagayama would rage out. Who is that? Why'd you even say his name? Well, I hated that guy. Oh, I'm pretty sure he hated me right back. And also, the girl who didn't want to take the baton. Why would she even say, I can't believe this, when she was the next one after me? So cold. Uh, no, she's just... I believe you know the answer perfectly well, so there's no need to comment. Usually when a girl acts reluctant like that, she probably means it. Well, that sounds like a comment. You should probably look up comment. You know what else happens at athletic festivals? Oh boy, you have more? I do. When you're one person short and you have to do gymnastic formations with the teacher. Because you don't even have enough for a fan formation. <laughs> I pity the parents who had to see their kid do that. Huh? No. Come in. <sighs> I've come to the right place for the service club, haven't I? I sent an email earlier about the athletic festival, but I didn't get a reply, so I came in person. Huh? So this email came from... Yeah, that's probably the one I sent over. I want to make the athletic festival as exciting as the cultural festival. You did such a great job last time. Please help Yuki no Shita and... Mm. <laughs> oh, uh... Hikigaya. It's Hikigaya. Oh, yes! Hikigaya! And you're... Uh, actually, I'm Yui Gahama. He's Hikigaya. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I've got... 